All right, everybody, I am back, and I have refreshments. I have went to the party. I have food. Let me turn down my audio here. So we're just going to be chilling for the next, um, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes, just kind of depends. So this is just going to be a Q&A session while I'm enjoying my pizza, just kind of revitalize, revitalizing myself with nice nourishment, which is monster energy drink some water and then some yummy yummy pizza it sounded like you said i went to the party but british maybe maybe i went to a potty party who knows what? thank you so much akai for the bits i really appreciate that um any and all bits is appreciated no matter the size it does help fund this channel it helps me continue to do this and know that there are still people who want to see me review their games i've got the mic kind of placed at a weird angle but i kind of like it because it, it's out of my bubble but it's a little bit in front of my screen i might try to figure out how to do something a little closer to this but yeah so it's just q a if you have a question you would like to ask me please feel free to do so uh if you want to get to know me a little more if you are brand new to this channel you can ask questions like that or if you have something specific in mind that you would like to ask please go for it i'm just going to enjoy my pizza Probably go over the queue and see where we're at and what I need to do too. How do you know Noah? Let's see. How did I learn about good old Noah? I met him. Uh, I met him through his YouTube channel. I wanted to learn how to make games just like you all as well. And so I watched a ton of his videos, found out that he had a Discord. So I started to join in on there. And then I realized he's making a game jam. And that very first time he started that game jam, I was trying to branch out of weekly and try to find some other game jams that I could cover. So I said, well, heck, I'll cover one of his since I'm doing some others as well. And I got in touch with him and he said that'd be really cool. And so that's kind of where we hit it off. And we kind of chit chat maybe once a week, once every other week, more as these type of events get closer and bigger. I'll try to eat with my mouth closed, but I'll still answer questions, too. Hmm? I'm also going to make a big mess. When is your next speed run and what game? Ugh. Killing me, Josh. I don't know. If there was any game that I would like to speed run, it would probably be Celeste. Just because I really like the art style of that game... Not the art style for speed running purposes. I like the game's art style, period. But I just like the fluidity of the game. It's one of those, it's like, if you can constantly be moving the whole time, it's such a good feeling. Like, when you know where to go next, it's, oh, it just feels so good. Thanks, man. I realize that are very helpful to improve. That they are very helpful to improve. Maybe you're talking about game jams. Yeah, participating in game gems is a great way to improve your skills. Rapid iteration. Yeah, I've heard a lot of people say that they like to speedrun that game. Josh played it on his channel and skipped every cutscene. That's terrible, man. It just hurts my heart to hear that. I love the story so much. I know you're not one for story, but... oh. Response to Josh, yeah. If I'm too loud or something, chewing or whatnot, just let me know. They call me Josh the Ruthless for a reason. I haven't figured out why yet. All right, let's so let's figure this out here. In six hours, I played 24 games. So, realistically, we've got about five hours left. So, we could probably say another 20 would be realistically achievable. Maybe more. There's a lot on my list.
Oh, you participated in a game jam sometime, your brother. So most of my channel is really about game jams from the covering perspective, playing these games. I honestly don't find game dev streams that entertaining to me, nor am I skilled enough to think that I could put on a game dev stream. Now, I've not put away that I won't participate in a game jam in the future. That's something that I need to hone more myself. I need to make sure that I've got all of my ducks in a row, especially as a person who's a part of this community and is trying to be important inside of the game dev community and game jams. So anytime that I'm going to participate, I want it to be a very focused time where I'm getting to spend doing and making those games. And I know that sounds kind of weird because I don't expect that from you guys, but being that I am streaming in here, there's going to be a lot of backlash, honestly, if, if it's not something of a decent caliber. Oh, you're good. Your brother can't hear any, can't hear any tune. Okay, good. So... I know that may be a cop out, but I really do want to create something that at least is reflecting what it is that I'm trying to teach you guys uh, about game jam. So I'm a little more timid when I want to take on a project like participating in a game jam because there is a lot of backlash if it's not what people are expecting. And I've already told all of you, I'm not a game developer. I'm not somebody who is of any caliber, even close to Josh or Tiger J or Blackthorn Prod, but... I am a gamer and I've been a gamer for a long, long time. And I understand how menus are supposed to be and I understand how to teach a character. I understand how to write a story. Part of my background that makes me qualified, not the right term, but I did a lot of D&D. I, I wrote tons and tons of campaigns and stories and stuff like that. And I educated people on how to interact with those worlds, learn how to use complex systems like D&D 5th edition, learning how all of those different systems can be taught to somebody in a way that they can learn it very quickly. That's very important inside of game development because you have to teach them how to play your game. Same way. 24 hour stream hype. Ugh. So that, to answer your question, I'm not, I'm not, uh, not going to say I won't ever participate in a game jam. It's just if I'm going to, it has to be something where I'm very focused on that time. And I want to provide something that is of decent caliber and not just let me just make something crappy. I think you've got a super solid grasp on mechanics and playability. Would be super cool to play a game from you. Yeah, I think a lot of people say that. And I want to make something for you too. So that's why I'm saying in the future, you might see some stuff from me. Also, at the very beginning of the stream, I said, um, I'm, I may not be actively game devving something, at least as far as you know. What games are you currently enjoying at the moment? What am I enjoying at the moment? I've been going back and playing some retro games. Super Mario, one, two, three, Super Mario World. Something that I can quickly pick up and play <laughs> for like 10 minutes and then get off and play something else or go work or do something else. Honestly though, the majority of my time playing games is spent on this channel. So Saturday night is when I'm playing the most dedicated time. Now, last week, I played um, Kingdom Hearts 3. We got it and beat it in like two weeks. And I loved it so much. It was so good. The storytelling is amazing. The cinematics were like 10 hours long. I looked up online and people had grabbed all of the cinematics and put them into one video. It was like 10 hours. 10 freaking hours of cinematics. We beat the game in 30 hours. That means a third of the time that I was playing that game was 10 hours. <laughs> was just cinematics. But I really love that game. I love the story. And it kind of did tie up a lot of loose ends. But now it's introduced so many more, so many more questions. So that's a big game that I've been playing recently. 
I'm a big fan of Overwatch. I play that every once in a while. But as far as like consistent gaming, I'm kind of hit or miss on some of those bigger titles and more focused on these indie ver varieties like Cuphead or Hollow Knight or Forgotten Anne or whatnot. Mega Man 11 secretly playing it every night. <laughs> uninstalled the next day. How about that? <laughs> the very next day, uninstalled. It's one of those where if I were to see the cover, I'd probably turn around and like start shivering. That's how scared of it I am. Not really. I just, I have no reason to go back and play it now. Iris, 616, thank you for the follow. What are the most common mistakes or annoyances that you see in jam games that you well, don't think follower. devs are aware of? Ooh. Hmm. Number one has to be lack of directions. Like, even missing from the itch.io page. You know, I said I don't like having directions on there, period. But even as far as not even having directions there. That's number one that I say makes the biggest impact on a game. Number two would be having a start screen that allows the players to, the players to start that experience when they are ready to dive into that game it's a landing page for them if you're just forcing them right into the game it can be very daunting daunting of a task to get in there and just start trying to figure out what the heck's going on and that's not a fun way to enter a game number three is how they compile the game so after you have the game ready and you've played it in unity a million different times when it's time for the game to actually be uploaded it is so nice to have it in a single package where you press one button and then you can start playing that game versus versus saying hey i need you need to go download this package or you need to go download this package or like rpg maker there are so many times where i get games from them and they're missing crap it, all over the place they're missing stuff and i have to go try to find that if i'm going to play that game nine times out of ten me just like everybody else is like well i'm not going to go find that stuff then if I have to play this game, no way. Heck no. I'm not going to, I don't know where to find any of this. Who knows what I'm going to be downloading. And that's not fun. So the way that it's packaged and sent to the player. Oh, you're going to make me redeem the dog right now. Ah. Oh. But, so that's, that's probably top three. Yeah, after I eat some pizza, I'll get the doggo on the stream. But yeah, how to play your game. I think that's really the biggest. There's a lot of people assume that they just, they'll pick it up as soon as they start the game. And there's some games that are designed for that, and that's fine. Better yet, feed the pizza to the dog. No! Pizza for me, otherwise I can't stream. Man, Doggo would love that, that's for sure. What else? Got any other questions? About game dev, about me personally, about the channel, anything. What kind of pizza I'm eating? I mean, there's tons. Are you still playing games? Are you still playing the games? Ah, that's a good question. We're actually on our dinner break right now. After our dinner break, we're going to start playing the games again. So we played 22 games so far. So realistically, we could probably get through another 20. Um, there are almost double that left on the actual queue. So we will not be getting through all those tonight. But we'll go through as many as we can tonight. Good question. Very good question. What's your favorite game controller? Hmm. I 
Xbox One. The basic model. That's my favorite game controller. Sorry, number 65. I wish I could play your game, but I just don't think there's any way that I can get to there. I'm going to try, but I just don't think it's realistic. Um, yeah. Xbox One controller, I think, is my favorite for sure. Followed by the PlayStation. Any, any of them, as long as it's not the original. As long as it's got an analog sticks, then I'm good. Hey, Michelle, will you bring me my paper towel that I left in there? I, I completely left it away from me and didn't take it with me. Mmm. Thanks, babe. I just pulled these out of thin air. Magic. Ta -da! <clears throat> what game took you the longest time to finish, and did it feel worth it? <laughs> Mega Man 12? No. Um, I mean 11. What game took me the longest to beat? Mm, probably... And this is going back a while. Kingdom Heart. No, no, no. Final Fantasy X2. This was when I was like, I don't know, 13. Maybe even younger than that. Really just kind of getting into like RPGs. It, it took me probably 80 hours to get through that game. And it was just because I didn't have good enough skill at that point. I was just terrible. But it took me about 80 hours, I'm pretty sure. 80 or 90 hours to get through that game. And honestly, it was not worth it. I was so young, I honestly didn't even play the first one. I didn't realize it was a second game. Don't ask me how I didn't know that, but I sure didn't. I got the game, I thought it was cool. So I played it, and I beat it, and I was like, wow. I spent almost 90 hours on this game, and I don't really understand what happened. So I had to go play it like way later when I got a little bit older again after playing the first one. And it, it just, it's still, I was like, gosh, I can't believe I played the second one. And it just did not have that feel of worth to me. Did you hear something about Atomic Heart? No, I haven't. What's the game about? Shooter with USSR settings? Hmm. Favorite Pokemon? No, I haven't heard of that game by Russian game devs. What, um, I mean, is it just a first person shooter set in that time? Is that the, just the core story that's being told there? Seems like a weird name for that. Let me give it a goog. We create video games. Mundfish. Is it a fairly new game? Mm. Whoa, this looks weird. Here's the page in case somebody wants to take a look at that. That's the Steam page. Atomic Heart is an adventure first-person shooter, events of which unfold in an alternate universe during the high noon of the Soviet Union. The principal character of the game is a special agent P3 who, after an unsuccessful landing on Enterprise 3826, is trying to figure out what went wrong. Weird. These are some weird creatures in there. Favorite Pokemon starter. Go. Centaquil. Easy. Hands down. Centaquil.
when I was older, older, when I was older, in the future, <laughs> when I was younger and that game first came out, I got Santa Quill and I named him question mark, question mark, question mark. So anytime I would do a link trade battle or link cable battle, they wouldn't know what Pokemon I was sending out until they actually saw the Pokemon instead of naming it Typhlosion when it was max level. If you could have a modern HD remake of any game before 2000, what would it be? Hmm. Well, Commander Tim, thank you so much for coming out. I hope you have a great night. We'll have some good pew pew pews. Thank you, dude. Have a great one. Should have called it Zubat. Oh, that's awful. Um, gosh, I don't know. A lot of the games that I wanted actually did get remakes. Like Halo, got a remake. Ocarina of Time, got a remake. Twilight Princess even got an HD remake. Oh man, that's a tough one. Even the Pokemons have gotten a remake. <laughs> uh... Oh, I know. I don't know if this was made before 2000 though. Let me just check before I say. Ah, oh, bummer. I was going to say Mega Man Battle Network, but that was released in 2001. <laughs> I'm off by two years. I'm a huge fan of the Halo series, but they released the Master Chief Collection, which is a updated version of 1 and 2 with better graphics and better voice acting, better music and everything. Gosh, I don't know, man. Jack and Daxter. Like a full remake for that series. Oh, no. Even better, Sly Cooper. I want a full HD remake of Sly Cooper, The Thievius Raccoonus. I love that game. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite horror game of all time? I hate horror games. <laughs> I hate scary things. I can't stand them. I'm a big baby. But I watch other people play them. Like, um... Oh, gosh. What's that game that came out a while back? Insomnia? I think it was called Insomnia. Is that right? You should default to Silent Hill 2. It's the best. <laughs> Definitely not playing that either. No, 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 no. I think it's called Insomnia. I own it. I got in a Humble Bundle pack. Let me open that up real quick and see. But I really like... I don't know if uh, Five Nights at Freddy is considered horror or thriller or whatever that is, but I really... Amnesia. That's what I was talking about. I played that a long time ago, and I was so terrified I could not leave the tutorial level. I just couldn't do it. I told my friend, I can't play it. I just can't. I'm going to freeze up right here. I'm not going any farther. And I did. I didn't play it anymore. Do you have a favorite mobile game? Hmm. Hello, Mozard. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Greetings from Turkey, which is exactly the country. Have a nice stream. Well, thank you. Have a nice chat. If I have to say game that's specific to mobile. Oh, God. What is that game called? Oh. Hmm. 
Candy Crush is not my favorite. Oh, Lord, no. I am from North Carolina, USA. It's not Draconica, but it's got dragon in the title. Oh. Dragonia. Is that it? Is that what it's called? Mm, I don't think that's what it's called. I love that game. It's not Draconica. Ooh, that is cool that they're bringing Draconica to iOS. I did not know that. That's cool. But if it's not that game, which I'll have to figure out what it is called. Michelle may have to help me. It was an iOS game that we played quite a bit. I wanted it to be in the USA. Hope what one day it will come. Maybe one day. Maybe it will. No, I absolutely hate Candy Crush. But I really like Hearthstone. Hearthstone is a fun little mobile game for me to play whenever I want to. Um, did I even bring my phone back? Yeah, I did. Mozart, thank you for the follow. I appreciate you, dude. Pokemon Go well, has been kind of on my follower. list for a while. I've played that and really enjoyed that. Uh, Exploding with Kittens is a fun little game that I play every once in a while. But, man, I cannot think of what it's called. I think it's called Dragonia. It was like a, an action slasher game where you have this cute little character that had an interesting backstory. Think of, like, Legend of Zelda with magic and a whole, I mean, like, a crap load of magic in it. I'll have to link it in the Discord if I can figure out what the heck that was called. What time is it for me here? It is 640. What is your favorite game genre? Um, adventure. Action and adventure. Absolutely. I love a good story. I love fantasy worlds. I love all of that. You have no idea what I'm talking about. That's okay. I'm probably imagine the game. It's got dragon in the title or something draconic. I and mean, they released like five of them. That's going to drive me nuts now. Mm. I haven't played Candies and Curses, but I've seen a lot on Twitter about that game. It looks pretty cool. Same time here. Oh, twinsies. You must be on the East Coast. What state are you in, if you would like to share? I'm in North Carolina. If you had to create a Mega Man robot master based on yourself, what would his power be? To make pizza. <laughs> I don't know, probably some sort of hacking power. Like where I could hack into the other robots and then just control them like puppets. Ooh, Puppet Man. That's what I'm talking about. I'll be Puppet Man. Is that already a thing? If not, it should be. Mm, no, not Bastion, but Bastion was really good. I didn't know that was on mobile, though. It started with a, a D. I'll pull up my phone and see if I can find it. They made like four or five of them and I really enjoyed them. For it to be a mobile game pixelated like it reminded me of Legend of Zelda the Minish Cap <clears throat> but with just a bunch of magic and RPG elements where you could upgrade a whole bunch of stuff oh man there's so many new games now in the app store 
I'm gonna be so far behind, I'll never be able to find it. Like four or five of them, I think. It was like the first series mobile wise that came out that I like, I had to play. I just had to beat it. It was gonna happen one way or another. He had a white, he had uh, blonde hair. I can't even remember who makes it now. It's been a while. I don't really play a lot of mobile games now unless it's just a, a time waster kind of thing. Ain't got time. Uh, are you a programmer? Amateur level? I know a little bit of C Sharp. I know a little bit of Java. Enough to be dangerous, I would say. I know I work in Unity a little bit. That's my preferred poison. I've tried to work in Construct and... Um, game maker, but I prefer prefer Unity so far. I like this girl, but want to stop. How do I do it? Dragolia. Is, th is that what it is? Dragolia. Dragolia? That sounds right. Daiko. <gasps> um. Gotta do C is C sharp to be dangerous or C plus plus. Awesome. Do you did do you enter game gems? I actually don't. Oh, why is this frozen? I um I typically stay on the side of streaming the games instead of instead of making the games. It may this seem foreign, but I give a lot more feedback doing this and I get to see a whole lot more people and help them grow that way. But I'm not opposed to doing game jams in the future. <clears throat> what else? What else you got for me? Probably get started here in just a little bit, too. I've had my pizza. I'm full of energy now. Mozart, I heard, um, I've never actually been to Turkey, but I heard a friend said that it's really cheap to actually fly into Turkey from the U.S. of A. Have you, have you ever heard anything like that? I've, I've, I mean, I've even heard to the point where they said, like, it's cheaper to not buy, it's, not, it's cheaper to not bring any clothes, buy your clothes there, and then send them back or bring them back with you than it is to actually have your suitcase packed full of clothes to go there I don't know if that's true or not I know very little about anything past the United States that's not a lie that's just the truth Taby Come on. 
Update. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So that concludes our break. So we are going to start jumping right back into these games. The, for those of you joining us for the very first time tonight, my name is your brother, and we are going to be playing some games created from created during the Blackthorn Prod Game Jam. This is his second Game Jam. The theme was Mini Planets. I'm going to spend about 10 minutes per game. We've already gone through 22 other games tonight. So Ballpark probably going to get through another 20, maybe a little bit more if some of these games are just very short games. Um... I apologize to everybody else who got on the list, but is not going to be able to get their game played. First in, first out is how I do my streams. So if you want to get your game in there first, always make sure you're following me on Twitter. That is the best way. So you'll see that list go up first. Another great way, if you want to catch right in front of that list there, um, I do try to post first in my Discord that list under whatever the game suggestion or whatever the game gem is there. So if you want to get in it and join the Discord, go for it. Uh, we have a, a nice little section of um, channels. Sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Where you can you can come in and type your own stuff in there. Learn from each other. We've got game suggestions for stuff that you'd like for me to play. And then also jam suggestions if there's a game jam that you would like to see me cover. So... We're going to jump back into these games now. Let me go ahead and start loading up the next game here. And then we'll get at it. We is going to get at it. I always thought it would be interesting to do a mega multi-game, a WarioWare type thing that counts for multiple team jams entry. Ooh. Like if it were like that you could finish them all. I always thought it would be an interesting to do a mega multi-game, a WarioWare type thing that counts for multiple teams, jams, entries. If it were... That would be kind of cool. So are you talking about like, say we built a game jam themed around a single game is going to be created at the end. And... Each team would be responsible for creating one mini game that is going to go into a game pack that is themed around like Mario Ware esque type of games. Very short, very rapid play, that kind of thing. If not, then I like that idea and we should totally have that happen. That would be really cool. Can you imagine that? Like a whole bunch of mini packs, kind of like Jackbox games, but based off of short little mini game experiences. So I guess it'd be more like, like a a Mario Party kind of thing. Yeah, exactly, but it would need some overarching glue game to hold it all together. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I could see that. Oh, there's two of you. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that idea. Josh, that should be your next game. Jam. Idea. I like that. All right, so I'm supposed to be... Supposed to be doing stuff now. I got. I got to get back to work. I got work to do. <clears throat> is this gonna go full screen like I want it to? Yeah, it is. Good. All right, I'll stop my music. So this is Space Claw by Sprazix. Problem is the community is currently split down the line between Unity and Godot. Maybe could be two games. Yeah, I could see that being a little bit of a challenge. But, I mean, you could just say the requirements for this jam is it has to be in Unity. That wouldn't be that hard to say, look, if you want to be part of this really cool, awesome pack, then that's what you got to be doing. That's what you guys to be doing. All right. So, uh, stop. Dart is around here somewhere. I got so many buttons on this thing. Just kidding. I'm trying to do something else. There we go. Start. This game is a total disaster difficulty-wise. I am ready. My body is ready. 
What's up, Sekraz? Your ship's warping mechanisms have failed mysteriously. You find yourself stranded in an unfamiliar galaxy. Your only method of getting around is now your ship's emergency grappling hook. You figure your only option is to explore and try to find the roots of the problem. All right, left click to grapple to the mini planets. <laughs> I mentioned Godot and summoned Sek from the ether. Oh, oh, okay. Got him. Hopefully that's what I'm supposed to do. Reach to the center of the crashing into planets will destroy your ships. Okay. Oh, okay. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Uh, pull that way. We're going to drop to that way. Oh, man. I thought I had it. I thought I was going to hook right there. Dang it. And pull. Dang it. And pull. How do I release? Oh, right click to cancel. Okay. Ah! Dang it. Ah! Oh. Well, dang, I could have just done that. Just go past it. Don't worry about it. I'm in the Godot camp well as well. Do you need me for something? Una momento, my 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 brethren. back my apologies all right so back into the game sorry my wife had to ask me a question if you go off screen you will lose control of your ship restarting level but if you already grapple to a planet you may be able to salvage yourself can i grab from like the side no wow whoa oh almost had it oh dang The swing around. Yeah, that's really cool. I like this. It feels really good. Middle click to restart. Oh, no. What? Can I, can I like crap like right there? Yeah, just barely. Just barely. Gray planets cannot be grappled, but you will still crash into them. Right there. Ow. Ungrappled. Oh, snap. Feel like I'm doing okay. Ow. Whoa. Dang, that's hard. Uh. That's, that is tough. I'm, I'm really liking it, though. Oh, and the momentum since it keeps going. That's so hard. Woo! Dang it. Yes. Yeast. Got him. Uh, hello there also if so many people make the same game it might end up looking like a bunch of completely different games packing together yes if you played warrior or mario kart or a mario party it's kind of that same concept that'd be the idea they'd be all mini games so really wouldn't need to relate too closely although getting the visual consistently could be difficult yeah that's probably not going to happen being consistent visuals anyways all right matt thank you so much for coming out I appreciate you. 
Uh, have a great night. Thanks for everything that you've done for this channel. I really, really do appreciate that, man. Thanks for, thanks for just being here, dude. Thanks for the the donation that you gave earlier. That was really nice of you, dude. Dang it! Right there. There's my goal. There's my goal. Go, 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 go! Boom. Ooh. One time, one time, one time. Oh, almost had it. One time, one time, one time. Here we go. Got him. Hey, I've done pretty good. 11 out of 25 is... I guess that's not super good. Ooh! Oh, man. And just get over there. Oh! Dang it. Dude. Oh, snap. <laughs> it moves so fast. You're just like, oh, finally, I got this. Oh, dang it. You know what I mean? I'm going to have to play this game. You're going to make me play this game. Can't believe that. All right, so, oh, dang it. Go, 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 stop. <laughs> oh, it's no problem, I really enjoy watching you. Will this be available to watch after the stream ends? Yes, it will be. Oh, oh, oh please, oh, please, no. Oh, man, I looked at the chat for too long. Ah, dang it. Yeah, so after this ends, you'll be able to watch it on Twitch. And then roughly like 48 hours, we'll say, you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. Oh, no. Oh, dang, that's so hard. Oh, ah! <laughs> dang it. Awesome. Speak to you later. All right, Matt. Have a great night. Nope. Oh, ah! For the planets that actually spin, oh dang. Is there anything we get from the spinning planets? Like, do we get any turn on that? Oh, good luck with your stream. Thanks, dude. Have a great one. Woo! This is as far as Tiger J got to. I will defeat this game then. I will defeat. Wah! Oh man, not being able to back up at all. Hmm, can't really do that. Could maybe. Like, it's, the difficulty is pretty ridiculous. Try sneaking between the gray plants and their asteroid belt. Like, right there? I would love to, but... Smash! I can't get in through that way. Like, that's what I want to do. I want to... Wanna get it straight across and then slingshot make like an elbow back I've done pretty good if I, if I go that slower a little bit there oh! it's these turny ones oh so close Oh, man. Without going through... Like, a, try sneaking between the gray planet and the asteroid belt. Without going through it. Like, right there? Dude. Oh! Dang it! 
Too much, too much, too much, too much. Oh! No! <laughs> Like right here at the top gives me the most height and chance of survival. It's just about time in that right, because then I can slingshot real far and get across. Oh. Oh man. Thought I'd just nick that just a little bit sooner. And since it's kind of like elasticy it's pulling you it um it picks up some speed no <laughs> oh so dang hard oh. no you let off no no oh, i can't do it i gave up i lost dang it I can't get through there, right? Bow. Oh! Maybe it should have made a level skip button. Yeah, that's hard. That's really hard. I can't beat it. I, I, I'm so sorry. I cannot do it. It is uh, too hard. And I don't want to waste a lot of time because we already spent 10 minutes. So level, level design, super. I had a lot of fun with these levels. You did a good job. I felt like when I walked into them, I kind of had an idea what I needed to do and starting to execute that. Just, just right in, start playing. That's fun. Awesome. Um, the color palettes, everything, it's all kind of cute. Very, very simple designs and stuff like that. And that's okay because, you know, it's a game gym. We're not expecting the prettiest of art. We're just trying to get the core functionality working. Um, you've done that. It's super fun. I like the sound effects that you use. That's really cool. It, it just feels right. It feels like it belongs. And then we warp, warp back in time, back to where we were previously. That's really cool. You did a great job. I really enjoyed this. Um, I, I didn't get to play all the rest of these levels. This is level 11 out of 25. So I'm imagining if, if you're introducing more mechanics into this, it's going to get a lot harder. Maybe not. Maybe this was just the only level that just was like, this was nuts, kind of hard, which is possible. Dang, I didn't think that was possible. I was going to try that. Um, but good job. I'm glad you submitted this game to the Game Jam, and I'm glad I had the opportunity to play it. No! I can play it right there. That's what I needed to do. Forget about even going all the way. I just need to hook, hook it like that. That's just a tight squeeze right there. Yeah, that's the right way to do that. Oh, did you see that? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I introduced mechanics like gravity that pulls you in planets that shoot at you. Oh, great. But good job, dude. I mean, really, you've, you've got some really good levels so far in the first 11 levels that I played. If you're adding more, that's awesome. Keep up the good work, dude. We'd love to see more from you. Come check out Weekly Game Jam if you have the time. A chance. A chance. We would love to see you. And what else you might create in this world? All right, uh, let's uh, look at the next game. Thanks for the feedback. You are welcome. Love giving it. Oh, cute. What is this? Let us see. Silence. Right. <laughs> RGB Planets by Varg Murter. This is Zuki. He is an artist. It's doodling, really strange little beast. It's doodling, really strange little beast. He is sad. Paint it, left mouse button to make it fun. Use alpha numeric keys for color changing. One, two, or three. Save all doodling's planets. Paint it by clicking. And then it makes it a happy. Okay. Oh, poor doodling. Doot. Play. All right. Oh. 
Red. You get to be a red. You get to be a red. You get to be a, a blue. You get to be a red. You get to be a blue. You get to be a green. And you get to be a red. Happy. Everybody is a happy, happy blue. Happy green. Happy red. Red. A blue. A blue, a blue. A red. Oh, a red. A red. A red. Green. A blue. A green. A blue. A blue. A blue. A, blue. a red. A red. Blue. Blue. A red. Eh, I got a 260. Just came back for a bit to see how far along you got. I just noticed you cut off the queue at about 45 entries, saying you probably won't get to those. Does that mean you're for sure going to play at least play until that point, or you're not sure? I'm going to play until 12 happens. I can't I can't commit any longer than that. I do have to get up the next morning and work, so I can't, I can't commit to any more than th what I get done at 12, unfortunately. So sorry. I wish I could play more, but it's just... Not in my wheelhouse to be able to, to do that. Um, but there are going to be tons of other streamers that are going to be streaming these games. So make sure you check out Mr. Joshua McLean. He's going to be streaming Monday and Tuesday. So he can give you some feedback. And then also check out uh, Tiger J. I'm sure he's going to be doing some as well. And that's Tiger underscore J. Eh. I think he's actually been streaming today, really. Actually... A uh, bloop. A bloopity. A green. Yes, that is him. Yeah, go check him out. 260 again. <laughs> Thank damn it. Timing. Are you saying I have good timing or bad timing? Level one, level two. Green, oh, didn't get it. They're so happy. What happens if I paint them the wrong color? Do they die? They just die. We don't want dead. So this track makes me a little anxious. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm panicking. I mean, I know we're, we're on a time limit here, but this is scaring me. No, oh dang it. I like how uh, we're painting also anything that we touch. I think that's pretty cool. I'll definitely try to check out your street whenever you're on. Yeah, definitely do that. He's an awesome feller. He is a great part of this community for sure. Blip and a blip. And oh, oh, I gotta be careful. I don't want to actually shoot forward because then that can happen. I like the sound effects that's going on. I honestly feel like I'm getting a little dizzy because I'm, I don't know, I'm observing a lot of the scene, trying to catch the colors, whatever they're thinking of. And that's giving me just a, just a wee bit, a wee bit pizza dizzy. Trying to go as fast as I can. Ah. Can I just jump on them? That's cool. Three eighty. I love that. It's so cute. What does this one do? Nothing. Okay. So I've played all three of the worlds. Very cool. Very, very easy to understand. Let's go this way. What's over this way? Nothing. <laughs> Crap. 
but the characters are cute the idea is cute here we've got are these masks is that what they are that I'm painting that's what they look like I like that sound effect that's cool you've got the score we've got our timer at the top right hand corner it's always visible because we're looking right up in the sky as most of those are kind of above platforms or way up in the sky and we have to jump to them I think that's really cool um, the painting of the house that looks really keep cool when it's like plopping you can see it like bouncing with color now everything's all happy and whatnot I think that's cool the paint splatter that looks really neat that's a nice little effect so we'll go back and we'll go the right way. Boom, 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 boom. Love that. Well, it just looks really cool. Looks really cool. Oh, that was close. Oh, I didn't get that one. I messed it up. No, green, green. You have to jump on the platform if you're actually going to try to hit him on the platform. No, dang it. Blue, blue and you, and you're green, and you're green, and you're blue. Up, up, feller. Oh my God, am I gonna beat my score? The world may never know. Probably not, because I keep missing them now. Whoa. Nope. Ah, 360. I feel like realistically he shouldn't be drooling with his mouth open so much. This is a doodling, not a mask. Okay, he is just a little blurb. He's a little blob. So that's cute. That's fun. Save all doodlings planets. And they want their planets to be painted with multicolors, but only three colors to be specific. That's cool. Um... It's a, it's a different experience, that is for sure. I'm not exactly sure how to describe. It's complete. We have the full package. We have instructions how to play our game. We have a good menu of uh, several options. We've got three different worlds in here with different varieties of platform heights and stuff. So we're, it's definitely getting more complicated as we go along. And you're introducing a, a better mixture of the three colors instead of like a series of blue, a series of red, a series of green. It's changing a lot quicker as the levels go higher. That's cool. Um, and it's a complete game. I think we've, we've definitely got the core of what's going on. I'm just trying to find something that's making it stand out um i mean this this could be uh equal to like a a paperboy game or a postman game where we're trying to deliver something to a person they're looking for a certain type of envelope and we're passing that to that person it's the same concept we're just changing around what it is that we're giving to people in this case we're painting people instead of giving them something how do we make that more fun and more enjoyable do we, do we change some of these doodlings so they're running around so we have to chase them down within this time frame? Do we have some enemies that are trying to stop us or slow us down? So we have to fight a little more against that score and that timer to try to get a higher score. We're fighting against the time to get a higher score. What, what else could we add to this? Obviously more worlds, more complexity, but we need to start thinking about what happens if we paint something that causes it to go evil or bad or turn against us and start painting other ones that will turn against them. And we have to deal with that situation or we can just keep it the way that this is continue to build more worlds and introduce more colors. I think there's a couple different ways that we could take something like this. I think it's really cute and it is a complete package. I feel polished. I feel like this is a very polished game. We got sound effects, everything. We had music in the background. The music did start to become an earwig after a little bit there, just because if it's, it's pretty much the same thing, just, alternating over a very very short pattern here so i'd like a little bit more depth a little bit more length on that and i think we'd be okay um but yeah i mean it's it's a complete game it's a full complete experience i i don't think i find anything that's too game breaking or or not game breaking but 
too risky is not the word that I'm looking for, but I definitely feel like it's missing something. It's missing something that'll make it a little more punchy, uh, a little, a little more interesting, a little, a little more challenging, something it's missing. And I, I can't really put my teeth on it on what that thing is. Hopefully as you continue to develop this product or this game, You'll find that. You'll find out what that is, that it will really set it to the next level and, you know, make it separate itself from other platformers, basic platformers where you're trying to deliver something or paint something in this case. But good job nonetheless. This is called RGB Planets by Varg Murterer. Thank you so much for making this game. Super duper cute. Ooh, that's a cool logo. And then it's got the little... That's all kinds of creepy. Back to the cute happy world. Let's just stay here for a while. No, none of none of the creep creep. Let's just get back in the not creep creep, but creepy creep. I can't exit the game. It's not letting me exit the game. Help. Oh, it's because it's Windows. I mean, it's a, it's a web game. Just kidding. You are welcome, Varg. I'm glad I could provide you some feedback. Very, very interesting. It's my standard credits. I know, but it's just like... <laughs> completely counter to what the game looks like it's like oh what a happy little go lucky world everybody is so happy who made this game oh my god not that it looks bad i think it looks really cool it's just like counter opposite it's like if you made teletubbies that would be the same reaction that i would have got i would have had right there just very scary but in a cool way and just in comparison it was very scary but do 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 Thanks, your brother. You're welcome, Varg. I'm so glad I could play your game. Okay, let us play. This is a Jerba, Jerba game. Good old, good old Jerba. Ooh, that's a nice. It's a nice track. Just sizing it up here so it looks rather nice to view. Alrighty. This is called Cosmic Cannibals by Alugo CP. All right, here we go. And three, two, one, game. This is our home screen. We got some nice track in the background. I'm a liking. I'm a liking. Made by Alex Lugo with beats by my brother. By me. That's right. Your brother. All right. Play. Ooh, character selection. Click on a character to play. Amy, Pablo, or Humphrey. Let's go with Pablo. How to play. Use the mouse to point your character and hold Z to move. Press X to activate your special power. To eat smaller planets, point to eat a smaller planet. Eat Point towards and run into it. Eat another planet or some space mass to get bigger. Whatever is the last one standing wins the game. Avoid getting eaten or colliding with obstacles. These include quagsires, black holes, asteroids, comets, etc. Comets freeze you and make you vulnerable for a time. Cool. Your brother, what time is it where you live? Just wondering how much longer you'll be on. It is 7.22 right now. So a couple more hours. Pablo. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, don't eat me. I don't know what I'm doing. Whoa, I am much bigger. Can I eat that? Nope, I cannot eat that. Okay, can I eat that? Oh, nope, that just froze me. Oh, I can't eat those. You died. Okay. So I can eat these and those and these. That's my special attack. Pew, 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 pew. Like that. Boom. I won. Okay. 
gravity well. Ooh. So that pulls them in. Oh, oh, that's cool. I what? Humphrey. I have a protective orb. So it's kind of like uh, the, the best way to explain this is the mouse is my steering wheel and Z is the gas. Got him. It's a very quick. Ouch. 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 Eh? Ouch. I'm a so tiny. There we go. Munch, munch. Mom. I can't actually use any other ability for this character. He just has a shield. You're still going at this? What's up, Trailblazer? How you doing? Yeah, man. It ain't no 12 o'clock yet. I ain't quitting. I ain't no baby. I, I, I ain't no baby. So far, my lava buddy seems to be the coolest. I like the way he is designed, and I like his ability. I can't, I can't, I can't grab that one. Nobody else can have it. It's mine. Is it trying to shoot out of my head? Is that what I'm supposed to, to do? Maybe. Oh, oh man, I should have got that one first. Or can I just not get any bigger? Oh, okay. So I just can't get any bigger. Ouch. I missed my game, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I reckon I reckon you did. I said eight. You'll catch it on the, the VOD. I'm going to tell you a story I just experienced, which you cannot believe on Earth. Are you ready? Yeah, it's your maximum size. Okay, cool. I'm Rizzy Mo Mo Mozart. So two is my max size. That's cool. I just missed it by a little bit. Yeah, you did. I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah. All right, let's look at the how to play again. Just want to make sure I haven't missed anything. Activate, hold to move, eat smaller, avoid getting hit or collide with objects. Other things that could come in contact with me and stop me. Yes, okay. So, yep, I understand the game. <coughs> and I've stayed alive and I've won a couple on here, so I, I feel like I've got a pretty good, pretty good m understanding of what's going on. It it seems like the game kind of ends on its own relatively quickly. I would like a little bit more time to experience the world instead of it just ending so rapidly. Like I, I barely move in that one in that world. My AI is bad. No worries. Live and learn, right? You can only get better if you keep trying. If you keep making stuff. I'm going to focus on literally everything else. <laughs> hey, you got a lot of cool a lot of cool stuff in here. Ooh. This guy's my favorite. He just looks cool. See, it kind of reminds me of like a little scar. I keep trying to point at it, but where he moves, you uh, can't exactly point at it. Eh. But it looks like that little diamond thing on his face is a little scar. So he's like, he's real cool and stuff. I'm not sure what these are, but I can, I can walk past them. Assuming this is the black hole. Pablo was fun to come up with an angry molten lava planet. Yeah, he's cool. So I think AI definitely could use some work there. So they're a little better. A little better working here. Um, <clears throat> the... The abilities, I think Amy's is really cool. That seems to work pretty good because I can pull stuff in and quickly grow up very, very quick. And I can also pull the enemies in towards like the black hole and whatnot if I'm close enough to them so that I can get them down pretty easy. The last one, I felt like I really didn't have a whole lot of control over him. It didn't seem like that was a lot of use to me. So it's just kind of 
waiting around for somebody to die out because my little orb there that's he he ain't he ain't doing a whole lot for me now when i'm real big i mean i'm literally chasing these guys around just hoping i can just knock him into something so he's he's just kind of doing his own little thing and i'm just hoping i can survive long enough to win Well, I'm sorry to hear that, dude. Yeah, I don't have any problem with broken English. I, uh, there's, <laughs> I've played a lot of games. I've definitely played a lot of game gym games where English is not your first language. And that's okay. That's totally, totally okay. You know, I, um, I, I totally get that you want to try to work on your English or that you are trying to, to, to figure that out. And it's not easy to do. Game jams is a great way to start working on that English because you start to learn common words the more that you make these games and then other people can help you with that. One thing that I really try to suggest to people when they're making games and they are, you know, trying to learn English as a second language is take your game and submit it to a friend that's on weekly game jam or whatever game jam you're participating in and seeing if somebody will help you. Hey, will you just look over my game and see if there's anything that you know, isn't right or doesn't make sense grammatically or, you know, just story-wise, does it, does it make sense what I'm trying to say here? And I usually find that people will help each other out on stuff like that. And it's important to, to do that, not only because you're creating more bonds that will help you later on in life make, making games, but also it's going to help your English grow a lot quicker because you're going to have a nice little tutor who's going to help you and you make a friend. So yeah, don't, don't ever feel like, oh my gosh, I can't, I, I can't speak in his channel because my English is so terrible. That's okay. My English is terrible too. And I speak English natively. <laughs> so don't, don't worry about it. I usually do a, a fairly good job at quickly surmising what you're trying to say. And then I'll say that instead in most cases uh, to the channel. So that way everybody can follow along with what's going on. The people, the person who made the game, the people that are watching the stream and then myself. So we can, enjoy the game for what it is and not focus on the tiny things now i might jest or something about something but it should come off as a jest and not picking fun at somebody that should be very apparent i'm gonna put up a video on this game to my youtube channel after noah finishes the game jam stuff do it absolutely do it all right well i think we've got a good little game here this was fun i definitely think some larger levels with some more spaced out stuff would be good that gives our characters a little more to kind of play with in this world and not so much getting stuck in these tiny confined spaces if we could work on maybe really randomly dropping out some of these items, that would help us too, so it's not the same every single time. Um, maybe go back and try to figure out a way to work on that third one. Maybe you can think about an actual shield instead of like a guardian that's floating around you. That'll give you something that will protect him. Maybe you can even make it like bouncy. That could be really cool where if something is coming at him and he turns on the shield and that'll bounce back the exact opposite direction at the person who fired it at you which then makes them a little more scared if, if you know ai wise if they're gonna fire that at you at a particular moment you know i think that could be really cool you'd probably have to have a cooldown on that to make sure that it just doesn't stay all the way up or it doesn't just okay right before it comes at me boop turn it on for three seconds or you know half a second bounce it off and turn it back off again that wouldn't be as fun but you you definitely could can could do something like that i think I think you you got some options there for for him to expand that just a little bit so it's a little more fun but good music i like this in the background we don't really have any sound effects for any of your stuff so it'd be good to have those later on your menus and stuff are looking pretty good i like these characters i think the font in here maybe the color is what i mean Maybe it's just my eyes. I don't know. It seems like there is like white. Oh, I don't know what it is. It's not all outlined. Some of it is outlined. That's what I was noticing. Like this eye on the left-hand side 
It's missing the outline, and I don't know why that is. The T, it's missing the outline on the right side. The O is missing the outline on the right side. You can kind of see that if you're glancing at the screen. You guys may not be able to see it as well just because it's on a stream, but not, not super, super duper sure. For sure, thanks for the feedback. If you want to keep up with my future updates, you can, can subscribe at this channel. Yeah, I kind of rushed out on the font and had to skip sound effects. Lib D, Lib G D X render some of them without bound without boundaries. How about that? I don't know that. Well, good, good dude. So that game was Cosmic Cannonball, Cannon, Cannibals, Cosmic Cannonballs, uh, Cannibals. Oh, it's a raid! Oh, yay, 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 yay. What's up, everybody? Welcome on over to the channel. Oh, Doggo is definitely going to have to wait now. What's up? Hello, Tiger J. Welcome, crew. How are y'all doing tonight? Thank you all for coming out to the stream. We have been playing some Game Jam games from the Blackthorn Prod Game Jam. Tiger, I assume you've been doing the same. How have you been, my friend? My buddy? My posse? Whatever and whoever you want to be. Yup, he says. Yup. I am totally spent. So you participated and then you also streamed some today, right? Did I catch you earlier and you were streaming games or were you playing them? Or like I'm making, working on your game or were you playing? No, you didn't make one. Oh, you've just been streaming them. Gotcha, gotcha. I played them starting at 6 a.m. I, I was going to start mine at 9 but the game jam itself got uh, extended till tw or 11.30, my time. And then I was like, well, I'll start playing at 12 after after everything has kind of started. Or finished, rather. So every game has been completely submitted and everybody can start. But, yeah. I, I thought about doing the same thing. But it just worked out to my advantage to be able to run it a little bit later. How many games did you end up playing today, dude? I bet you were just shot. Shot. A lot. <laughs> I'm at like uh, getting ready to start number 26 right now. 1,550 or 1,056,154. 1, I counted all of them. Over 9,000. Oh man, I'm terrible. I've only got like 26 played. Jeez. Thanks, fam. Thanks, fam. Let's start up this next game here. Doggo. Oh, gosh. Okay, we'll see Doggo really quick. Hey, buddy. Hey, everybody. This is my Doggo. He actually got a bath this past week, Tuesday. And he got a nice little bandana. This is our dog gadget for those of you new to our channel. You played 43. Well, I have to play at least 43 or something like that, right? He's a good little puppy boy. Oh, you don't like the light. I know. Oh, he pushed the mic away. He says, I don't like you guys. You're fine. No, you're fine. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. Challenged. He's been a good puppo. He's been laying around. He's been watching and hanging out with mama. You want up here? Come here. Come on. Come on. Ah, he's a left shoulder only dog. Everybody knows. He just does weird stuff. He's just the way he is. Do you have anything you'd like to say to the uh, the group of friends and the raiders? Nobody else. Nothing. No kind words. Nothing. You only want to lick my nose. How rude. How rude. His name is Gadget. He is your doggo. Is the channel's channel second avatar. I would be the first. And he would be the second. He normally just sits down here with me and lays around. I can't really get him to sit on my lap because I have a desk in front of me with a keyboard tray. It's kind of hard to do that when you have a dog in your lap. Ain't that right, buddy? Did you been a good boy? Did you been hanging out with mama? Mwah. All right, go play. Ow! Scratch my leg all pieces. He's a good boy. Yeah, you spent your hard-earned pixels for him. I forgot to do it at the end of the, the break. My bad. But welcome everybody who came from Tiger J. Tiger J, are you playing any more this week? 
Or is uh is that funny day? Funny day. Beard flip. Beard flip, beard flip, beard flip. Let's take a look at this game. Yeah, tomorrow I'll be back on Coolio. Life is a whip. No, there's no C. I don't know why there's a C there. Life is a whip. By Christy HK. There are about seven in my queue. St still, I didn't get to. Oh, I have a long queue. If you want to take a candor at my queue, if you want to, if you want to play. Quality was starting to suffer. It's a game. Yeah, it's you did it. Great. All right, next. I played it. It opened. Good job. Whatever. Don't submit anymore. Please. All right, life is a whip. That's the correct. Yeah, you can use those and the 40 euro is skipping. There you go. Yeah, I got a I got a good list. I have 80 I think it's 88 in my queue. <laughs> so many games. I just can't do any more. I there's just no way that I can continue after after I do my set. 12 hours is a long enough stream for me to lose my mind and I can't dedicate any more time after that. All right, so let's take a look here. When on your own planet, you can move your view by using the right mouse button. When on other planets, use WASD to move. Okay, so I can use right mouse to move on my own or WASD to move. How to travel. When you're on your own planet, press shift to go to the menu where you can select other planets on other planets. Left click on the rocket and it gets you back to your original planet. Your rocket needs a certain amount of fuel to travel to other planets, which is shown by the yellow bar. To get fuel, you need to get experience tutorial below, but it buy maybe buy it from the shop and place it on your planet. Gameplay: You have a planet which has a certain stability, which is shown through the white bar. More planets mean more stability. More plants. To plant trees, you need to collect experience by going to other planets and left clicking and holding your cursor on the trees. After collecting the experience, you get back to your planet by right clicking the rocket. When you get to your planet in the shop, you can choose different stuff like trees and fuel machines. The description is given inside the shop. To place anything, you just select it in the shop and left click anywhere in your planet. But remember, the plants die out, so you need to keep getting experience and keep using it to add plants. Hover over plants to decide their life, to display their lifetime. There is no winning in this game, but instead there is a competition and who will bring the highest score? After clicking play, if your planet reaches the stability of zero, the game is over for you. You need to constantly supply it with trees. The goal is basically to survive as long as you can. The score is calculated using time and experience or planet stability. Losing will reset the game. Okay, so that is a lot to take in. That is a lot of reading. So we're just going to have to now throw ourselves into the game and see how we do. All right, so I can move around on my planet. Being damaged by oil, said oil where? I see no problem here. Is this, this is the oil. All right, so. Uh, what was the? Tab? It's not tab. Ooh, that's cool. Click. Num 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 num. Give me the tree. Give me give me the tree. Oh, look at all the sparkle. Oh, that takes a long time. Do, 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 Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How lovely. Oh. Did I lose? I, I. What? Okay. All right. Well. Maybe we can harvest this one instead. Yeah, that seems like a much better idea. All right, we're back to our ship. We're going back home. 
Ah, I have I have two of those. Does that does that mean I planted those? Okay, so we're we're good on fuel then. So let's get back out there again, and maybe we can find another tree like that. Cause that one seemed to that one seemed to come up pretty quick. Okay, that one came up pretty quick. All right, so let's go back to the ship. All right, so I think I'm supposed to plant How do you plant? Experience cost, lifetime. So I just need to get more experience to add these trees. A little oxygen to the tiny plant that's making you breathe. Boom. Boom. Dr drag. I died. Okay. Shift to go to the other planets. Left click the rocket to go back. A certain amount of fuel. I have plenty of fuel. We're not worried about that. To do more plants, you mean more stability to plant trees. You need to collect experience by going to other left clicking, holding on the cursor after collecting. You go back to your plant, right click on the rocket. When you get to your planet in the shop, you can choose different stuff like trees and fuel machines to place anything you just selected in the shop and left click anywhere in your planet. Okay, so when I go to other planets, I can't replant those trees after I've harvested them, they just give me experience. But that experience that I can use to go into the shop and buy those items um, that I can replant on my planet. Okay. Got you. Oh, look at my little planet. Can't really grab those green ones. Those green ones take away a too long so I have a stability bar at the bottom I would assume that is my planet's stability would that be correct in assuming so so it doesn't appear that it's actually going down And I have now lost. <laughs> I've lost my ship. I need a beacon of light to guide me back. Yep. This was the big planet. I decided it'd be really cool to land on the big planet. No. Oh, I died. <laughs> That's hard. Stick with the tiny planet. Of course, now RNG is not going to be in my family. It goes down depending upon how many trees you have planted. Okay. I could have swore this was the small planet, but now I'm a little confused. Also, why does that go... Okay, maybe I was just off center or something. It seemed like it was going faster once I was moving it up and down versus yeah, like right there. It's like really, really slow, and then I get right on right beside it and it starts working. Okay, so I need to get back. I need to get back. I need to get back. What? There's my ship. Oh, get her back! Get her back! Get her back! Go! 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 Click! 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 Uh, shop, shop, left click, plant. Life tree. Yeah. Life tree. Plant. Lifetime. Oh, these are more expensive. These are much better. Experience cost. This one. Least scary looking tree. Adds a lot of oxygen, but makes nearby ground produce less oil. Ah, that's fine. So that still hasn't moved. Oh, no. Bad things are happening. But I've got more plants. And I have plenty of fuel. Not enough XP. 60 more XP. Where's my oxygen? Is this my oxygen meter? Stability isn't enough information for me to know. 
Exactamundo, what's happening? And I, I'm not feeling like I should leave the planet. Because everything's starting to explode. But I'm going to have to leave the planet. Oh, no. And now I can't get away. But I have a thousand fuel. I have lots of fuel. But I don't have a spaceship now. Hmm. If I don't die for one thing, I die for another, it looks like. I don't know. I seem to be at a crossroads here. Hmm. I don't know. I guess maybe I have to have a oil refinery. And because I didn't, then I can't turn the fuel that I have into rocket fuel, which means then I can't leave the planet to go anywhere else. And I can't buy anything because I don't have enough to get out. So that just puts us at a standstill. Okay. Well, that's 10 minutes. This was an interesting little experience here. I, I felt like I spent a lot more time dying trying to get back into the game than actually getting to play the game as much as I would have liked to and seeing some of the complexities when we start to introduce like you know better trees with oxygen but it also is decreasing the amount of oil that we're using and how that actually has impact on the land itself and my ability to survive look we're getting ready to finally die according to the plant planet stability it's getting real low I would have liked to see more of that um, I spent a lot more time getting lost on the planets themselves I didn't really find any way where I could kind of track that better, like an over map or a compass or something to help me find my way back to my house or my, my rocket a lot quicker. Something like that would have been helpful. Whoa. I just saw all the tree. Oh, that's creepy. There's a bouncing tree. Did y'all see that on the purple planet? <laughs> New planet, new new plants just appeared on these planets out there, and then one of them must have bumped into another one, which shot it way up in the air, and then made it drop back down. That was interesting. But yeah, give me some sort of compass to get me back a little bit quicker, and then maybe we can have some sort of bar that we can monitor the, the oxygen. I, I don't know if that's what this is supposed to be. Because it's not really going down except for really, really, really slow. So it would be nice if that was a little bit faster. If that's actually the oxygen and that's something that we can monitor. Otherwise, it's just kind of like randomly jumping down. And I'm not clear why that is. So just put oxygen out beside that. And that will let me know, hey, how am I looking on my oxygen output to know if I, I need to put more trees down or less trees down. Or, you know, find a, a different way to... to keep them keep them living and then survive as long as we can so that is life is a whip wimp by christy hkj christy i think i've played some of your games before that name sounds familiar all right next game Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Right. I don't know if there's any sound here, but we're going to find out. This is Planet Care Incorporated by Leon Pyramid. I do not hear. Hi, young girl, and welcome to Planet... I'm a boy! Welcome to Planet Care Incorporated. Your work here consists in helping planets of our universe. But I should be better. I should better show you on an example. An example. So let's go. Click on your nav map and go to the training planet. I'll then explain. I'll explain to you what to do. Uh, training planet. 
Look, look, I'm so proud of my voice. Do you think it will rain tomorrow? All right, maybe that's not the training plan. Is this the training, training plan? Okay, so here you will have your first client. Oh, my word. You will have to take care of them. But before that, I'll explain to you how to help the people on all the planets in this system. There are three parameters that describe the planet state, which are society, ecology, and wealth. So, very short. You will change those parameters by building structures which will have impact on the so. But remember, as Lavio Ser said, nothing is lost, nothing is created, everything is transformed. Top perimeter and another will drop. Never mind, I'm sure it'll be okay. First, you need to know what the problems are. To do so, talk to the, the, the peoples. That's cute, I like that. They are the planet's inhabitants. To talk to them, just click on them. Once the problem has been identified, you just have to look around the planet with your keyboard left and right arrows. You will find spots where you can click. Just click on them. It will show you the structures you can build on the map. At first, there will only be three. For more information, you can take a look at the Buildopedia where you can find whatever you can be looking for. Some pages are missing in your book. You may find them later. Anyway, when this planet problem, planet's problems will be solved, just come back to the navmat and go on to the next planet. I don't think you'll need my help anymore, so good luck, and may the power of your builds be with you. All right, what's up? I told her not to eat this apple, but she didn't go and listen. This guy is acting like everything is my fault, but it's the snake's fault. What kind of build? Flower shop, bank, forestry. Mmm, okay. We got anybody else on this planet? Whoa. That's cool. I like that. So none of these other ones are open yet. I made an apple pie. Do you want a piece? Yeah, sure. Can Does that mean I actually get like a ap piece of apple pie for it? I found a piece of wood. I think I will carve it. Do it. Tomorrow I will go to the beach with my friends. What you guys say? What a nice day. Bloop. Oh, oh, dang it. We're good. All right, so. Ah, oh, okay, so it tells us this stuff. Actually, it doesn't sell flowers. It sells more. It sells way more. It sells love. Can you realize love? Okay, it's not eco-friendly, but it sells love. Love. So that's probably what we need for these peeps. Yep, now we got the babies. Gaga, lady. Gaga, lady. They all say Gaga. Oh, with her, my life is a paradise. I love her. Oh, I love him so much. He's the man of my life. Okay, so now we got a description of what they do. This is the capitalism. You can take people's money just for you. They won't like it, but they are wasting it, so take it. You're the only one who knows how... To spare all that money. To sp maybe spend all that money? To save all that money? With a penny, you can grow a tree. But if you have more, you can grow a grove, a forest, or a home tree. Okay, maybe not a home tree. Uh, well, maybe we've satisfied what we need to on here so we can go to the next planet. Oh, is this the hippie planet? So in theory, our without money world was actually working fine, but actually, so in theory, same same thing. So build a bank. Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you so much for your help. I don't know how to thank you. And they all say the same thing. Okay, fair enough. This is money. Everybody is on his phone. We don't have time to talk on this planet. I've been a while since my brother had called me. I miss him. Everybody is on their phone, blah, blah, blah. So this one we can build two. Once I find a spot to build, that is. There we go. Flower shop. Maybe maybe not flower shop. Bank. Forestry. What you want, bank? Let's see what they say about the bank. It was breaking me down at work. I must be doomed. What you guys say now? 
My neighbor is acting weird. I may call the police. Man, y'all paranoid. We built a forestry. What is that going to do for you guys? Uh, double bank? Hmm. I think here. I mean, maybe double bank? Oh, wait, wait, what's that? What's that? Oh, I can trash them. Okay, cool. That's good dinner. Nobody's on their phone. We don't talk anymore. So if we took away their money, maybe this would make them go back to living? No, that doesn't seem to do it. There we go. Okay. So we wanted to make them happy to be together with them, with each other again. And then we wanted to give them uh, some, some, you know, better housing and whatnot, I guess. Tomorrow I will go to the beach with my friends and make them more reliant on the nature instead of technology. At least that's what I'm getting. All right. What do you got? Have you ever seen a cow with three eyes? Because I do. What? Because I have. Don't touch the water. It's poisoned. Oh, no. Have you ever seen a cow with three eyes? Because I do. Because I have. Last month, they were there was a tree in my garden. Now there is only dirt. All right. So we, we only have one choice here. So forestry. Yep. You found the page from the Buildopedia. What is it? I can build a factory. With the power of Taylorism, you can make more in less time. Double money, less of the happy, the forests, less of the social. It generates pollution and people may get sick, but they but think about the amount of money you can earn with it. Hey, what's up, Pogo Man? Thank you for the follow. I'm sad you have a sad face. And we leave. Going to here. Gee, our planet needs money. We can build three here. All right, so they, they, they want money. Let's, let's give them a bank. Or a factory is what I meant. What you want me to build now? Coast Guard Op. They need money to patrol, but they keep the oceans protected. They are sea angels. They are the light, but saves wells, but fishermen's night. Uh, am I supposed to build here? I don't think so. Oh, hey, there's one here. The winter was as hot as last summer. Don't touch the water. It's poisoned. Well, I, uh, postcard shouldn't be helpful. Nah, I don't think it matters if we threw a, gasoline in the ocean speak for yourself bud all right we've already had that before same coast guard all right you can move on the nav map with arrows Oh, well, that's nice to know. What's up, Leon? Hi again. I've forgotten to explain you the disasters. Some planets are suffering of problems that are out of the so called disasters. To be solved, you need to build some special structure that will improve the disaster situation. After that, you'll have to repair the so too. So if you meet people talking about one particular problem, it may be due to a disaster. Anyway, good luck. -o. Yeah. Tomorrow I will go to the beach with my friends. Well, you do that, buddy. Well, that one's happy. It's quite cold today, isn't it? Well, you're on a very tiny planet and it looks like it's covered in ice. So, yes. Don't touch the water. It is the poisoned. Nay. Uh, flower shop? Hmm. Oh, that person disappeared. 
My neighbor is acting weird. I may call the police. Hmm. I haven't really shown like a need that I feel like I can take care of anymore. Forestry we already tried. Flower shop didn't do anything. Factory doesn't really make sense. Bank nor the coast are doing right now. All right, so we'll just come back later for this one. Oh wait, there was three that that was supposed to be. I wish we could know what happened the next acid. I wish we could know when the next acid rain would happen. I wish we could know when the next acid rain would happen. So this one's under disaster. And I don't have any way I can help you. All right, so let's start going to some of these other planets. Can't control the weather. Huh. feel like I need to flesh some of these out a little more or something. Because they require two other ones. But they're not acting like it's necessary. The butterflies are flying and the people are walking. This place is such a quiet place. Get more people? Maybe? Well, that's about 10 minutes. Forest is acting on... Forestry is acting on ecology, not social. Oh. Oh. Sorry, Leon. But I, I think this is a really neat approach where we're flying around, taking a look at these different planets and whatnot, and then trying to fix the issues within each of these worlds. I love that. I think that is a really cool. You've done a really good job with this game. I think uh, the hopping around is awesome. I think that's just super comical, and it, it fits this quirky little this world builder thing. I don't know. It just feels really nice. Um each of the, the these characters worlds they have different personalities what they're trying to accomplish in their life we're trying to help them achieve that and that's really cool i think um just continue to flesh out these things right here so it's easier to understand exactly how we should better be using those inside of each of these worlds like the first couple made a lot of quick sense on what they were trying to do but as we started to get farther down Coast Guard wouldn't. Oh. I mean, you might need someone to help you that's in the water. Like if you if you're a straight up water planet, maybe. But other than that, it just it just kind of confused me a little bit. But I'd say just keep adding those, and it looks like you probably will because we have a couple more slots down here to fill those up, and we have plenty more worlds. So I think you know you're definitely heading in the right direction, if not already there. I think that's awesome. You've done an excellent job. Uh, like I said, unfortunately, I won't. Hey, that's BB-8. Unfortunately, I won't be able to finish the rest of these. So you'll have to have other people play this for you and give you some more feedback. That's also well, yeah, there, Doctor Who. Um, very cool, though. I, I enjoyed this. Very much enjoyed this. Good job, dude. That's called Planet Care Incorporated by Leon Pyramid. Thank you, dude, for making that. And thank you for submitting it to the Game Jam. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the next game here. Okay, let's see. Thank you so much, dude. You are welcome very much. Thank you for coming on the chat too. I really appreciate. All right. There we go. All right. Next game is called Dark Star by June Rog seven, uh, 18. That is really creepy. Oh, no. The Dark Star has awakened. Stop the planets from getting eaten. We don't have sound, so I'm just going to continue to play some music in the background here. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, okay. Well, I'm going to put one on each side here to make sure they don't get numbed. I just dragged it off the screen here. Oh, no. Dude. 
Ow. Wow, these particle effects and stuff are really cool. It's a very scary black hole. Well, now I just need to hold this one, right? Forget about the rest of them. It's not like I can pick up multiple planets at once. How, how in the world could you even do this? With more than like two, maybe three planets? I mean, really? Did I win? Did I cheat win? Oh, I think I might have cheat one. <laughs> I did. <laughs> That's awesome. So, uh, even though this screen is an eight and a half, uh, I mean, eight and a half by, oh my gosh. So even though this, this screen may appear like it's only a 1920 by 1080 P <laughs> because I have two screens, I am able to drag an object out of the world even though it's not really out of the world this screen continues to go on for whatever reason and i can just drag it all the way over like it's in the game world but on my second monitor that is awesome <laughs> somehow i managed to upload my game as an empty zip file on the jam instead of the actual game i have the zip file with the game but in it is ready but can't update the game page because of voting i message no to see if there's any way i can still get it but if not, I would be able to send it you a separate link to download the game outside the game. The game jam link. Yep, that's totally fine. Adova King. Tita. Can I do that with all of them? Drag. 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 Move these two out of the way. Oh. Oh. Drag. 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 <laughs> and then I just got to keep them off the screen. Oh, God. Oh, heavens. Oh, heavens. That's awesome that I can even do that. No, Billy. Oh, not Earth. That's funny. That's really hard to do, though, because they they don't, you know, they don't slow down or anything. They're still getting pulled in. Ah, dead. They didn't, he didn't make that bar, like, super long that goes all the way across or anything. It's just the way it is. <laughs> That's awesome, though. That's super cute, though. I really like this game. The particle effects look really cool. The glow around these these planets looks really nice. The pool, that seems right. Um, oh, no. This is where it got me last time. I lost one of them because I, oh, oh, I lost another one. Can I keep two? Am I able to make it with two? Ooh, get out of there. Leave it to me to find something like that. Nope. You went in? Yep. Okay. I just fed you. My bad. My bad. Yep. Mew. Mew. This one right here, I feel like, is the only one that I'm just like, hey, man, that's not really fair. Because there's no way in the world that you could... You can move all of them. Like, you're going to end up with one or two, maybe three tops if you're lucky. There you go. It's all yours. You can have it. Like, I don't know. That's not fair. I want to save them all. If you have them all here, I should be able to save them all. Don't make me choose, please. Don't make me. I'll give him that one. You can have that one. Not this one, though. This one's my favorite. Cannot have. Yeah, that totally works. If you have two monitors, it's rendering it's rendering that I'm moving this object, you know, uh, X negative this coordinate, and then I can just leave that over here. I honestly could just keep my mouse here because I'm still holding the object, even though it's way off screen. It's still counting that. Still here, even though it passed technically right over top of me. He just doesn't have this rendered outside of the screen, so it doesn't affect me. That's pretty cool. That's a neat little bug. Whoops, I lost. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think that's fun. You need sound effects. You've got everything else polished and it looks superb. Just get some music in the background and get some sound effects for when these, these little dark aura creatures decide that they're going to start smashing, crashing and everything like that. Like, how the heck do you expect me to save anything? <laughs> Feed that one too. You can have that one. I don't want that one. I like this one. I don't like this one. You can have that one. No. 
Dang it. I lost. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have anything else I can say about this game. That would be pretty much it. It's a short little experience. I think to take this to the next level, instead of just giving us a timer that we're trying to work with here, maybe we can just have, you know, different variations of black hole and then these little dark creature things that are kind of going all over the screen. And we're just working on trying to save as many as we possibly can. That could be a lot of fun. Maybe you put two black holes on the screen and they're just kind of like going around and, you know, we're trying to dodge two black holes and then spikes, you know, black spikes that can destroy these worlds, you know, just different variations. And they're little like black hole powers, black hole magic. I don't know what you want to call that, but whatever that is, that's allowing these big giant fist things to come down from the sky and smash planets. Just having different variations of those through a couple different levels. That could be a neat way to do that instead of it's like, oh, well, yeah, you only ever saw saved one planet every single time. Give us a chance to get us, you know, to be able to save other ones. Beard.games, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Pogo man, thank you for the follow. I don't think I missed anybody else. I do reckon that is that is they that is them's. All right, on to the next game. So that game was called Dark Star by June Rog eighteen. Thank you so much for making this game. This was a fun game. I believe we all enjoyed. It was very nice. Very, very nice. What's up, Rat Rat? It's been a while since I've seen you, dude. Unless you're a different Rat Rat. Could be a different Rat Rat. Got some nice tunes in the back here. Eat Dalf, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This one's got some tunes. This is Mini Colonizer by Shefaz. Bloop. Nice start screen here. Ooh, look at the little particle effects coming off of that that uh, sun. You got some little dust effects too that's just kind of falling down from the top here. Ooh, little light buttons. I like, I like, I like. Info on the game. Never thought I'd see the galaxy in such a state. Maybe I am the only one who can make it work. At least for me. At least for me. Can You can help me colonize these pity forms of life make them useful they can help us make our empire bigger and you are the hand that should encourage them to do so is it simple collect as much it's simple collect as much food iron as possible and use them to upgrade your facilities and improve your efficiency ah be wary of attacks i may have stolen some stuff one too many times uh oh uh row well, hello there. Hey, welcome. I'm playing your game. I uh, don't know, don't know. Got food and iron there. Don't know, don't know. Let's go here. Got peeps, got irons, got stuff. What's this? Click. Uh, nope, I don't think I want to upgrade. What does this do? So I'm looking at different solar systems, it looks like, by doing that. I have no people there. I can investigate. Does that tell me that I'm going to have people start going there? Highlighted as if I've got somebody who's going to be sent there. That's our pause. Resume. Okay. Send.
We have 16 total people, 10 available, assuming that, that there's doing no tasks. You should choose how many people you want to send there. Oh, oh, oh okay, I see. So I these, this is how many people I have there, how many people I want to do either attack or investigate. So I want to send two, and they're going to investigate there. So now I have less people there. Come home, and I have two people on this place. Got you. Hmm, I'm still not. So this is how this is the resource that we have in this area. We still don't know anything about this planet, but I have now two people there. Oh, they turned red. Did they die? Is that what happened? I guess they died. Upgrade. Maybe that will give me more, more people to send. Yeah, now I have more people. A lot more people. Okay, so let's send a couple to attack then. Whoa! Dude, thank you for the 1,000 bits! How you doing, your brother? Hope the weather is better on your side of the world. It is! What's up, background gamer friend? I really appreciate that, dude. Yeah, everything's going pretty good right here. It's 49 degrees and clear in uh, the good old north of Carolina. Everything's wonderful. How are you doing? What's uh, what's weather looking like on your side of the world? Dang, dude. Thanks, man. I'm missing it. I'm, I'm definitely missing the mark on this game. I want to I wanna figure out... I need some interaction on what's actually happening in these worlds. So if I send four people to attack, I'm assuming either that's going to clear it out so then I can send people to investigate or I'm going to get some sort of report letting me know what's happening. Last time it just kind of turned red and that's all I got. Hmm. I send two here. I don't have enough to upgrade. If it turned red, it means it failed. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. If it's green, you succeeded. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So I can throw more people at them to have a better chance of being successful. I have 16 that are available, so I really could jump in and throw a whole lot more out here. Let's just throw a good, uh, good number five here. So that was green. That was successful. So now I know what's on here. This is a good food resource for us. So I'm going to send five here, boom, to investigate. So now does that become if I if I put a if I put a place down? Oh, it's a water planet, so it's got a little got a little floaty device on it. So this one failed. We got we got lost. We lost it. Wah, 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 wah. Oh, shout outs. This is the mini planets game jam. Oh, uh, yeah. So this is Blackthorn Prods Game Jam. That's what we're playing right now. So we've been going through games tonight for uh, the theme was Mini Planets. And I've, I'm on number, what game is this? 28, I think. Dang. Is this a Game Jam game? This looks like a Steam game. It absolutely is. It's a Game Jam game made by SheFS. SheFASF. She's in chat right now. All right, so I have more people. Let's uh, let's see if I can get some more people out there. Let's throw a whopping 10 down. Maybe that'll increase our rate at which this happens, so it happens a little bit quicker. We are starting to put people on there, so do I get more resources out of that? I don't have anything telling me rate over time or what my rate is for getting these items to kind of know, am I doing better or worse or whatever that case may be. Uh, I don't have enough to throw at that just yet. Nicely done. Yes, absolutely. Beautiful game. Very beautiful game. Eight people, one people. 
Let's start throwing more down. So we're going to throw five down on attack and five down on attack on this one. You want to send more people on your planets. Send them on. All right, so we got that one good. Your people, their people. So there are three people there. I'm assuming if I send four people to attack here, then this will become my people or they will start listening. I wanted to enter this game jam, but Sam did have D&D &D themed game jam to do. Ooh, that's cool. You want to send more people on your planet so they will gather the resources faster. Okay. And I'm almost to a point where I can put another down. Another, um, what is these things called? Little upgrade things that I can put down. Probably just go ahead and drop one down there. Or here. Nope, not yet. Green. Yay, successful. Boom. Drop one down on that planet. Boom. Drop another one down on that planet as soon as that hits 200. So that one's full of iron. That one's full of foods. That's good. I almost drop one down on that planet now, too. Wow, this game is wild. It's very pretty. Oh, no. Did... Oh... Uh... Send two people to help? Maybe, maybe send, maybe send a couple more. There, you guys are right. You're going to be, right. you're going to be good. This is Blackthorn Prod. Blackthorn Prod's game jam. All right, so let's plop that down and don't have enough for another one just yet. But I am starting to, so I can send them down to that planet. Oh, I, I get you now. So now that should start my production of these minerals and stuff being a whole lot quicker because I've actually got people on the ground instead of just available. Yeah, because that's lowering that count, which is increasing this count on these. But now they're also going to be needing more food and stuff because they're out there actively working, it looks like. Can you colonize the sun? There's a good reason why you can't. Actually... Actually, all right. I mean, I, I, I'm starting to get it. It definitely took me a little bit to get here, and that's a 10 minute time here. Can you can you send people to the sun, anyways, just for fun? You know, uh, hope not. But uh, yeah, it it did take me a little bit to actually get here. Unfortunately. I, I wish it didn't take me so long, but it, it did. And I think it may be some of it's just my inability to, to really grasp a lot of these types of games. I wish I could a lot quicker, but I don't just because the UI and the way resource manage is handled in these types of games can be vastly different across the board. But visually, this game is beautiful. And now that I've kind of got a grasp in it, I feel like I could do better, but I can only spend about 10 minutes per game because I have so many games to go through. But just to give the people in chat some visual stimuli here, look how many other planets that, that this person has created here. They are beautiful. A lot of these different planets here. And I think if we, if we had a space station that we could visibly see somewhere on the screen where we could see you know, it, it, it be this little logo here or something to resemble that, that would let us know that there is a... a um, space station or spaceship that everybody is residing in and then you are sending those units to the ships to the planets down here see i didn't understand i thought they were all on this first planet and we were sending them to different planets that's what i thought but that turned out not to be the case we're not on any of these planets when we first started here you're out in space in whatever this is right here and we want to start sending people to those planets I think another good thing that you could do is break this section up here. So this is what's available, or this is what's on the planet. This is how much food and the people that occupy this planet. That's cool. Put a little line right here and move these three units down and um, make it where 
Honestly, I would almost like switch this. You can say, what is your action? What do you want to do? Do you want to send people or do you want to upgrade the structure? Upgrade really could just be a, a whole separate thing. Just have send. And then these, the, the amount of people you want to send right below that. And like make it about half that size. So you, you know it's attached to the send command instead of up here on its own little section. It, it just it made that very confusing of why it's there by itself didn't really make much sense to me but i think you've got something here with some better directions in this game i think we could jump into this a lot quicker anybody else who's playing this is not going to get as frustrated quickly they're going to stay in this game longer and they're going to start to colonize as many planets as they possibly can um great great little sounds all through throughout this cute little mood based things that we've got on here good design for your planets the ui is beautiful i really like the way that you got it designed it does feel like futuristic or like ui on a on a on a fancy keyboard from the future i think that looks really cool um good job good job I, i'm sorry i wasn't able to get as far as probably you would have liked me to i didn't even get to touch some of the other planets but Hopefully you can forgive me and somebody else from our chat can go and play a little bit more of this game. I'm going to link that in chat too, just so if anybody does want to go check that out, there is that game. It's called Mini Colonizer by Shefasf. Shefasf. I don't. It's probably abbreviation for something, or I'm just that bad with names. Second one's probably true. All right, let me grab up the next game here. Thank you, and thank you for the tips. You're welcome. Sorry I couldn't play more. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Next game by James Winston. It's okay. Good. I'm glad you understand. Yeah, I'll play that. There you go. Background Gamer is going to play for you. More space games need to let you fly into the sun. That was the first thing I tried in No Man's Sky. Was very upset you can't fly into stars. I've made a space game you can fly in the sun, but you just <laughs> you just bounce off of it. Uh, uh, oh. I'm supposed to take a break here. All right, I'm gonna take a quick break here, just a second. It's gonna be about a 10 minute break, and then I'm gonna come back. I just need to get up and stretch my legs, and then we'll come right back at it. So we're just gonna leave the muse kicks on here. So I'll be back shortly.
All right, I am back. Had to take me a little break here. Get some more Nalagua. Keep me energized and keep me going for the rest of the stream here. We'll probably take another break around 9 30, 10 o'clock. Um, and then we'll finish out the rest of that stream. So let me go ahead and get the next game loaded on up here. Yeah? Also, thank you so much to. We had a couple followers there. Leo was one. Uh, Leon Pyramid. Kivero Moy. Background Gamer. And I think that was it. Yes. But thank you all. It really does help me. It boosts me in the charts so more people can see game jam related content, whether that's game developers or just people searching for other stuff to do on Twitch. And it helps create a nice little community. So when I start streaming, you get those notifications. And then y'all can come together and start talking about these games. So some of these will be your games. We grow together. <clears throat> right. So let's get this next game here. Okay. And I'll fade out the music here and see what we got. Guy, girl, one, two, three. Thank you for the follow, my friend. All right, this is called Space Pool by Uwu2000. Sound? Oh, 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 okay. That happened extremely quick. I clicked on it one time and it was just like, Let's try that again. minimize all right one click and it just <laughs> goes straight through so i'm not sure what our directions are we're going to keep the tunes in the background it's your turn what am i doing am i playing chess here or it's the sun's turn uh, what are we moving stuff what are we what are we doing what's going on here Uh, uh, oh, oh, so it's like slingshot, my like slinging, there we go, uh, uh, there we're talking now, okay, all right, so we figured out how to move stuff, all right, yep, boom. I can hit things. Maybe we're trying to get him to go in the black hole. That'd be a that'd be a fair assessment here. Uh, uh. Like that? Oh, that was cool. Yeah, it kind of feels like we're trying to knock him in the black holes. Just give that one a nice little tap. Whoa, that's cool. Can I control them? No, I cannot. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, no. Right about. We'll just move him a little bit. Oh, ah! Dang it. It's very something else. I don't I don't know. I feel like this is supposed to be like a two player game. It's kind of what we're going for here, but I'm 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 really not sure. Trying to push that one back into the black hole. Let's see if we can get this guy to go down here too. Eh. Mm. 
boing. And I can't really get the directions because for whatever reason, the moment you start the thing, it just, you click start and then it just takes off. Eh. Well, I didn't even see that one. There we go. Super repulsive. No! <laughs> oh, dang it. Little punk. Dag nabbit. Well, at least that one didn't go too far. Real small. Real small. Real small. Yeah. Right into the center. Got him. Pool. Spade. Spade pool. Space pool? Yeah, space pool. Okay, so try to get it into the black hole. You're trying to get yours in there and that's our objective there so we have two two that are black holes and then we can right click and that'll make them go and become repulsive is that the same for the black hole itself yeah so that will make it repulsive so you can kind of use so that's kind of cool that's a neat little mechanic so this is our cue ball and we can take that cue ball and maybe we want to do a neat little move where it pulls us in and then it throws us back out and knocks us in so that's cool. And then whoever gets theirs in first, they win. That's that's neat. That's very neat. I, I like that. Now that we've kind of taken a step back to figure out what exactly is happening, that makes a lot more sense. And then you would just take turns going back and forth between the two of those. It's it's really an advanced game of billiards. That's that's really neat. Whoa. From the black. The black hole can spit them way out of there. And I bet our directions, you know, that made that may, would have made that very clear. But just because the way that it just brushed right on through, we weren't able to really do anything else. Unfortunately. Boom. Win. That's neat. That's really neat. I like that. Yeah, if we had the directions, I think we'd have, we'd have been right there with it. And it's just switching between two different people's turns. Um, maybe make these black holes a little more clearer or what they're supposed to be. Because, like, the only ones that you can actually shoot them in are the ones with the solid blacks in the center. I'm not sure what these are supposed to be on the outside. You know, are they... And what, what is actually happening when we're making them repulsive, repulsive, when we're pushing them away? Why is right-clicking doing that? What is what is actually going on here? So that'd be, that'd be some good information to have. Um, I mean, that's really about it. I think those would be the, the biggest things. And fixing your directions so you can always read those directions. Having this ball stop as soon as it's done accelerating... Um, is also keen on keeping the gameplay where it doesn't take so long and you're waiting for it to be that absolute weird zero. Like, you you know when that ball is is not going to be traveling anymore, but it's just kind of... Well, you know what I mean. It's still going to be traveling, but it's so slow that it's just... You might as well just have the dang thing stop instead of it just traveling forever and ever, amen. It's just going to take way too long per match to get that to you know, actually do anything. And... Oh! Oh! Pushed it back out. But that's cool how you can you can kind of force them to, you know, a, a mass where it's pulling them in. I like that. I think that's really cool. Because you could, instead of, like, just knocking theirs out of the way... You can, you can say, all right, well, that's fine. I'm just going to put yours on the opposite side. I'm going to knock all of yours to go way far away instead of just knocking them, you know, around or whatever. Ah, that's pretty cool. All right. So that is a Space Pool by Uwu. Uwu 2000. Or Uwu. Since it's EW. 
still a neat little game. I, I enjoyed that. I could see that being a game that could make it to like a uh, iPhone or something. Did you play too small? I don't believe I have yet, my friend. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get to your game tonight. There's several other that are ahead of that. Um, that's way down that list. I doubt I'll be getting there. I'm, I'm making pretty decent time. I've got probably another two hours worth of the list that I said I will pretty much definitely get to, and then I'll start playing in the, the, the lower section of games. But always check the list first. You can check that list just by hitting the Q button. But there are other jammers who are playing these games, so make sure you go check them out too. Okay. Let me pull up the next game here. Come on, 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 come on. Play. Hey, there we go. All right, so this one is called Spaceship Tarrapin. Spaceship Tarrapin or Space Turtle by The Black Cat. Is there sound on this? Why, yes. Yes, there is. A tarpon. Them dang tarpons. Them dang sea tarpons. Space tarpons. All right. Start game. Oh. Uh, oh, my gosh. Am I supposed to punch those? Nope. Okay. Oh. Okay, nope. Nothing there. I am the rainbow in the sky. I am the rainbow. Don't ask me why. Are we supposed to circle it? Da -da. Da -da 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 -da. Do I attack? Oh, there we go. I did something. Yeah, we're supposed to make circles. I just, I just felt like that had to have been it, because look at all these rainbows. Got this long tail. Ringing. Do I have to stay on screen for it to work? I guess that's a yes. Okay. All right, so now we have to wrap up six planets. Got him. Whoa, what the heck? That's That one's in the way there, bud. Can I, can I wrap that up? Nope. If I take any damage or anything like that, I get stopped. Ouch. What about these bad boys? Can I wrap that up? That would be a Nope. Can't wrap that up either. Alright, so just just planets. That's all that's all we're searching for. Oh man. Sadly, that's it for music. Looping does somehow not work in WebGL. Oh, bummer. All right, we'll just place another song in. No worries. This sounds like a good space tarrapin song. Oh, please don't leave. Ah, oh, dang it. I did it again. And I know I can just stop the turtle. I just can't not. Woo. Or maybe I already used that one? I guess I already used that one. That rainbow glow, though. So nice. How about this little guy? That's probably the one. Yep. I did it. 
Next. All right, so only the circular things. That is a giant pair of scissors. Okay. Ouch. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. We got this. Where's the tail? Boom. Got it. Oh man. I want to know what is going on. Why are these giant glue packets? Like, is this is this not really space? Am I in like a kid's bedroom on a space background or something? Oh, three there on that one. Ooh, what is that? Whoa! Okay. Uh, I'm gonna circle that. See what that does. Ooh, mesmerizing. You can just make rings all day long. Okay, that's not what we're supposed to do. Gotta stay close. Ring one. Yeah, so that's probably just a speed boost is kind of what I'm gathering here. Ouch. It's a kid's playing space captain with their toys. There you go. You got it, Drew. Nothing like a space tarpon. That's the kind of spaceship I want to be the leader of. I'm telling you what, these colors, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. No party like a Mojang party? Like Mojang from Minecraft? That's what this song is called. Yeah, but this, this, this tail thing, man, I'm, I'm really enjoying that. That looks so sharp. So sharp. Oh! Yes! Got him. Arg. Arg. Big giant circles is very fitting. Oh, that's the name. <laughs> that's the name band. That's the artist. That's funny. That is awesome. Eh. Whoosh. And then the big one. What are the chances of that? That's great. Yeah, I definitely think this is all taking place in some kid's imagination or their room or like on a on a on a black black chalkboard or something. Cuz we're seeing like lots of toys and stuff and and glue and art supplies and you know stuff like that that you would not normally find of this size in space. Tight squeeze, tight squeeze, tight squeeze. Two more, two more, two more. I don't think there's any sound effect for when we actually complete a circle, but that would be a nice sound effect to have. Eh. Space is crazy, man. You never know. <laughs> uh, Houston, we have a problem. Why? There's a giant glue stick. A galactic glue stick orbiting the moon. What? You heard me. I did not make this up. Game over. Good job. Score attack. Probably just time. Ah. Yeah, I, I enjoyed this. The, it was very colorful. This is a relaxing type game. It's not super difficult or anything, which is fun. I think this part takes too long where you, you, you know, you... 
<laughs> okay, so I guess that does count. You don't actually have to stay. You just have to go around them. That's good. That way you don't have to just stay there. For some reason, I thought you had to stay there. Come here. There we go. You don't have to stay and for them. To, you don't have to stay on the screen for them. Okay. I wondered because I thought there was like two or three that didn't take because I went off screen. Oh, you tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh, you tricky, tricky. Ooh. Can I get them all? Can I get them all? Ah! Nope, I can't. That's too many. That that should be doable, right? There we go. Oh, baga. Are you the maker? Or the candlestick maker? Or the baker? Wow. Well, yeah, this is fun. I love seeing these little these little marbles light up in the night sky. I think that's really cool. I don't know if they're marbles or supposed to be bubbles or whatever they're supposed to be, but it's really pretty to see them. I really enjoy that. Um, I think you've added some really good obstacles here. Some are big, some are small. So I do have to be careful on which ones I'm going to try to capture with my marimbo tail. Wow. It's really fun and really relaxing. It's got that zen, that good old zen quality to it. Something that's not extremely hard. It's just something to waste some time. Let you kind of think a little bit on your own. It's like I want to make really big deep circles. But really you just need the tiniest of all tiny circles. No need to go all crazy. And if you go smaller, then your tail doesn't disappear as quick. So it's a whole lot easier. But I refuse, dang nabbit. I want the big squikles. I like it. One of two eternity. Marbles indeed, with planets inside. Dope. What inspired this aesthetic? It looks great, by the way. We'll see the two devs. They were sitting on the couch. And uh, their little brother was on the floor... And Mama called him to dinner, so he left all of his marbles, his crafting glue, his scissors, all of that all over the floor um, with crumbs of crackers and stuff to light up the night sky on black carpet. Bam. And that was that was how they created this game. That was the inspiration. I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm just I'm just sure of it. But this was cool. This was fun. A, a very nice little experience. Sound effects would definitely be the next level that I would go about. I love this little cardboard thing at the bottom with like sticky notes that's, you know, acting as your time and planets counter. I think that's cool. It definitely reminds me of like heavily inspired imagination type game, which is a lot of fun. Maybe he had a little bean bag or a beanie baby rainbow turtle. And that's what inspired this character here. That's kind of what I, I see when I when I look at something like this. Um, but great job. This was a lot of fun. Great, great, great job. Oh, the black cat is will love watching this VOD tomorrow. Was I was I even like remotely close or something? Did I did I hit any nails on the head, or am I just so far left field that you're just comically laughing at me? But nonetheless, this was fun. I enjoyed playing this. Thank you for making this game and submitting it to weekly game Blackthorn Prize Game Jam. Almost spot on. Yes! Oh, oh, that's awesome. That's so good. Cause like it just felt weird for it not being like somewhat made up. Like we're not trying to pretend this is really happening in space. It just feels like something else there. Oh, I didn't even read the description. It says grab your marbles and your plushies because it's time for an interplayerium competition to begin. You fly your plushy turtle to fly through space. Try to catch the planet marbles by surrounding them with your trail. I, 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 I swear to you, I did not read the description down there. Anybody else in the chat can vouch for that. I hardly ever read those descriptions. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. That's a win for me. 
Well, good job. That was called Spaceship Tarapin, or Spaceship Twiddle. Yelbro with his super psychic powers. Gust golly. Dang psychics. Can't keep anything safe. Okay, Dirky. Uno momento, por favor. Let me just view this game real quick. -o. Just want to make sure I'm good with playing this on stream. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. All right. So this game is called After Earth by Beave Joe. Let me capture this screen so it looks right for you guys. Actually, I think it's got a nice and natural full screen. Yes, it does. All right. Let the fun begin. All right. How about now? Play. All right. So here is start screen. Click, click. Well, hello there, I. Hello, Elsa. We are going to TC-2001 planet in one hour. Our genius biologist needs following rare ma materials to research this planet. And here is the list. It has been said that this planet is not very stable. Be careful. Three crystals, three sandstones, three metals, and three meats. There we go. Oh my gosh. What the heck am I? Okay, so I can punch things. And I'm getting, I'm getting pulled all around here. My hands are off of the keyboard, but things are happening. Okay, so that is the thing that I need. That looks like a rock. There is a crystal, but I'm having a little bit of a hard time getting there. Like, I don't know, but there there are some strong gravities around here, dudes. My dudes. I don't know what that is. I got it, though. Oh, inventory full. What? What is that? Drop this item. I don't know what that is. What are these things? I can punch those things, though. So that's my health bar in the center. Good to know. Huh. Okay, so... I need to kill them things. That's meat. I need meat, so that's two now. I still need... I need three of everything? Okay, so there's another crystal. I don't know what that is. That looks like it's not, not dead, though. There's another... That's not a crystal. That's... Congratulations, you have cleared level one. All right, cool. Back to the levels. Level two. Last night, one technician miss is missing in our spaceship. Went missing in our spaceship. We guessed he was curious of the planet and worked around, then lost himself. We cannot lose his talent. By the way, he owes us money. Let's find him first. Okay. All right, so I've not been asked to collect anything. I've just been asked to find said person. And that's my, my oxygen counter. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, it's it's really weird. I mean, the controls just... I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. It really feels like I'm being pulled. Like, like legit being pulled around. Oh, that's weird. <clears throat> it, there, go. Nothing that way. Just a little munch munch person there. Sure, we'll get some meat. Why not? Can't eat it or anything, but I can I can definitely take it back. 
There's a thing. There's a there's another thing. Got another thing. Got some things, but don't know what the things do. Thing up that way that looks important. No. Nope. Okay. Let's go to the left. I guess that's just telling me what monsters are here. I've already been here. All right, I'll see how far left I can go then. I've already went most of the right side. <coughs> it's not looking good. I'm going to get dead. Okay, haven't went this way yet. That looks like that could be important. Ooh, what is that? Curses. Can I go up that? Nope. Can't go there either, right? Nope. Got to go around still. Dang. Man. <clears throat> well, that looked like that's where he would be. I'm about to dead, so it must be I have to go somewhere on that right side still to go a little further. There has to be. Can't go really anywhere else. Uh, 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 come on. Let me let me just, just squeeze. Squeeze and back into it. Can't jump or dash. Rass. So when I come back here, I need to go straight right. Right, and then go straight down. Oh, I did. Killed that. So we're going to go straight and down. Right here. And then just try to go down as far as we can. Okay, can't go down any farther. Huh. Well, that's putting me above now, instead of below. Dang. Wait, is he up there now? He's up there now. There's more of them. What are those things? I'm so confused. This gravity thing, man, it's really, it's really getting to me. I know you probably can't even tell, but like I'm holding over straight, just straight over. But his, his movement is so sporadic. It's nuts. I don't know. I don't know why. What's the point of that? But boy, is it just weird. Oh my gosh. Can I use these for anything? Hello? Can I go on top of that? Whoa. Uh, I don't know if I was supposed to be able to go in there or not. Did my staff change? Oh, I'm so lost. This is a test of patience, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Oh. I know I've been up through here, but there has to be somewhere else that I can go. Oh good, oh good, oh good, oh I guess I'm just gonna have to go back down again. Like this side down. Somewhere over here that I can go? I'm slipping through there? Yeah, okay. That's it. Nope. Oh, <laughs> just when you think you found something. No, do not kill me. 
Oh, well, yeah, I can just circle around that way. Oh. Not gonna lie, this one's this one's a little a little frustrating. Like the art and everything looks really cool. And I like how we have objectives. We're going out on these planets trying to find XYZ to build whatever. And now we're trying to save somebody who's gotten stuck or lost or whatever. That's cool and everything, but the the way that we're having to move around here is just so just just really weird oh hey stuff and it's 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 taken away from the fun factor here well at least that's a marker for us we haven't been on this side whatever this side is look a plant i don't think i need to really interact with it right now though more stuff Keep going, keep going, keep going. We haven't been here before. Oh, we got skulls now. We found a thing. Congratulations, you have cleared level two. Jeez. Lord. That was the hard one. Bloom, third one. Due to the discoveries of the maniac scientists, we need to bring some samples back to Earth. Let's find the following beasts to get their genes for research. My signals are not stable. Good luck. God bless you. Three ogres and three paranas. Let's go. Three ogres and a parana. There's lots of stuff that I can collect that I don't think has any use. Are you a parana? You're a parana plant, but well, that's meat. So is that an ogre and the other one's a parana? Is that a is that a Ferris fair under understanding? I'll just grab the meat because can why not? Plant. Hopefully it doesn't want them like in my inventory like that. Uh oh, that'd have been thrown. That did not works. These guys are still alive. Ooh, what is this? Can I get this? Nope. Can't actually get that. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, 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 excuse me. Nothing of any importance. Congratulations! What? You've cleared the demo. What did I get? Eight out of eight? Did it say three? Oh, maybe it did say eight. And I just I just thought maybe it said three. Oh, that's a cute credit page. I like that. I like that's nice. That's nice. A little shiny, a little shiny, shiny there. Back, back. Ooh, hold it down to make it go back. That's neat. Awesome. Good job. Fire. Press you to collect. Menu. Recommended resolution. Find these oxygen supply. That's pretty basic. Okay. All right, well, we did it, and that looks like the moon is blinking, blinking at us. That's creepy. Um, yeah, controls, that was the biggest thing. I think we would have got through that experience a whole lot quicker if it wasn't for those controls holding us back the whole time. We would have been able to explore much, much quicker, but, man, that was rough. So I just I just zoomed out of the or took it out of full screen and it says under here move WASD some planets have unstable gravity will call some random move distances when you control your player Yeah I I was not a fan of that that was that was not fun to me I mm, I wouldn't recommend that I would not recommend that one Not that I wouldn't recommend the game just that where you're changing the characters um, changing their movement like that Ooh. that was that was not not okay not fun all right next game is called let me download it first 
Planet Digger by CB Incorporations. Feel like I'm watching Toonami from back in the day. All right, Planet Digger by CB Corpor Incorporation. This is our start screen. No high score, nothing else. Ooh, buttons, controls, R, W, and D to walk. Jump to space, super jump, shift space, zoom out, shift, item move, mouse left and drag, remove from slot, shift. Mouse left, craft, mouse left, craft all, shift, mouse left, dig, mouse left. All right, we'll give it, we'll give her a go. Start. Oh my god, this is adorable. Oh god. No energy. Oh my god, this is amazing. Oh, game's loud. My bad. There you go, boss. Yeah, that was a little loud. All right, so there is our crafting. Uh, eh? Uh, uh, eh? No? Okay. What about eh? Or or eh? No? Okay. Well, we'll we'll, we'll just keep going. We'll just keep we'll just keep getting stuff here. So. I want to do the super jump again. That was pretty cool. This is a flashlight. Jetpack. I'd like some blueprints, though. I don't have any blueprints to understand how to make stuff. I already have those things. And I put that in there. All right, super jump. Ooh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Nope, I want to go there. Ah. Oh. Uh. Jetpack. Ah, oh, there we go. I have sand now. That's great. But. I, that I have no context. I don't know what any of that means. Whoa! Oh, crap. Stuck in space once again. Down again. And down again. Oh... That's that's mildly infuriating. Eh. How far away is it? Can I land on that? Please let me know I can land on that. We'll just wait till that fills up. I'm not even going to try to land on that. It's going to get me too f uh, just going to get me dead. I'm just going to go straight that way. Land on that planet. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, almost there. Almost to the planet. Yes. How do I craft? What can I craft? Can I make a better drill by throwing stones on it? That doesn't make sense. Can I put iron on top of it and make it better? Mm. 
We don't have any recipes, so I can't. Hmm. Maybe I need to dig to the core of one of these bad boys. Let's see if that doesn't kill me or something. Like, maybe it'll give me stronger material or something. I got dirt now. I don't think I had dirt before. Believe it or not. I exploded the planet. Oh, dear. That looks like an entire planet made of iron. We must go there. <laughs> This is a cute song. I like the song in the background. Let's see what these guys are about. <laughs> yes. What? Get, get off of that. Eh. Eh. Help. Oh, no. Okay. There are some blue things in space. Ba do 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 What's up, Eternity? Yeah, I saw that there was some blue things there, but I don't know. Oh, oh, them, them are bads. Them are bad things. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I, I am going to die. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I am dead. Back to the menu. Okay, let's, let's, let's learn this again here. Craft, craft, fall, remove from slop, item, move, super jump, zoom out, dig. I don't I still don't know what I can craft though I like I feel like I'm playing dig dug Woo! Woo! man yeah I mean I would love to have blueprints that's kind of what this looks like but I haven't been able to actually find anything that's like hey this is what you, you what you'd be making maybe that's what those blue things were floating around in space please let me on a planet thank you yeah, let's see if we can find some of those blue things again. I'm going to not not talk to them guys. There's some blue thingies. Wonder if that's of any use to me. Oh, it's it can be drilled. What does the blue turn into? What is that? I, I can't I I'm, I appear to be floating. Ah. And drill. And drill. And drill. And drill. And drill. Man. Yes. Dang it. I'm sure I need the whole thing to get whatever blueprints here. If, if there does happen to be one here. Let's please. I just, I just need it. Can you please? Oh, dang, nabbit. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Get ready. Oh, my gosh. Look, there's practically nothing left. Just, just let me, just let me finish that up there for you, buddy. Uh, there we go. Come on, come on. Right there, almost there. Oh, it's got it all. It's gonna be nothing. I'm gonna be so mad. No, please. Got it all. Anything? Nothing. Did I get anything here? Nothing. Dang it. Why is it still pulling me? There is nothing there. There. Hip. Hip. I am stuck between a rock and an invisible one. Oof. No, 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 no. Don't you put me. Now I'm just orbiting the planet. I just. <laughs> Wee! Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. 
This game is nuts. It's really cute, though. I really want to figure out what it is I'm supposed to do. I'll just start eating the world again. I think this one's for f fighting. Oh, dude, thank you. Is that to my Zeratos? Thank you so much for the sub to the, the YouTube channel. I appreciate that. I think we're getting close to 100 subscribers on there. Finally, be able to have my own custom link instead of. 50 million letters and numbers and stuff. All right, so that's 10 minutes. I, I unfortunately have not been able to even figure out how to craft stuff in here. Uh, and that saddens me because this game looks super cute. And I love this little space exploration stuff. That looked like that was going to be a lot of fun. But I, I just do not seem to be able to get past what, what I would consider just the basics here. So maybe you can start us off with just one recipe on how we're supposed to use these materials to augment our suit or um, our weapons or our jetpack maybe you know something like that I, I'm just missing what it is that we're really trying to do here like can I make a sand gun I doubt it Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. Can I make a drill gun? No. Maybe the crafting portion's just not there yet, and they only have built out the um, um, the collection, the resource management of it. I don't know. Let's say that's possible. Ouch. Boom. Let's take out that core. Boom. Take out the core, and now we got all them. Oh, nope. We don't get any of that. If we If we destroy it, it is just gone. Power jump! Power jump! Power jump again! Into the clouds we go! Oh, I can't go any farther. Well, this was neat. I, I Unfortunately, the crafting seemed to be our stopping point. We were not able to progress any bit farther because we couldn't figure out how to craft anything. We thought maybe the blue things were blueprints that we could collect. That didn't pan out there either, unfortunately. Maybe there's something else that we just happened to miss in the tutorial or in the controls, but I didn't see anything else, unfortunately. I think you've got good UI elements here. It's easy to navigate through the settings and whatnot. Um, it reminds me of like Minecrafty kind of inventory where I can drag things around as I want to. Uh, this is just set up in an up and down instead of seeing the entire inventory or wallet, rather. It, the, the text and everything is really fine and easy to understand. We have enemies that are on here. We have tons of planets that we can go around and fly with. The, the gravity is legit. It's real. I'm being orbited around planets when I'm flying by and I'm getting pulled in, which is really cool. I'm getting stuck between two planets and just jumping up and down or going back and forth. That's also really cool. I enjoyed that as well. Uh, good job for all of these things here. Unfortunately, we just weren't able to progress anymore because of the crafting system i would have loved to have gone a little bit further and seen what else was there but unfortunately <gasps> alas we were stuck we could not progress maybe somebody else can figure it out on to the next one that was uh planet digger by cb incorporated incorporation cb incorporation all right, this game is called Daryl Steak by Daryl Steak. No, just kidding. It's called Space. Space, the final frontier by Daryl Steak. Bloop. Bleep, blop, bloop. Ba blah, da, ba da, blum. Bleep, blum. All right, 
Where you at, game? Hollow. Oh, there we go. How probable is it that the S in space stands for space? I would say very probable. Oh, how nice. All right, there's our game. Space by Daryl Steak. A specially designed program to test your strategy. You just ha you just so happen to be chosen to be part of the two races. Unfortunately, times I'm gonna have to start it over. I can't. I can't. <laughs> Skip. Turbeze. Turbeze. Did not see it. Space. Could be anything. This is space, a specially designed program to test your strategic skills in an artificial generated galactic environment where you are put in the shoes of a commander. You just so happen to be chosen to be the part of two races. They unfortunately happen to share the same star system decided to go to war. On the far most left side of the planet is Mirth, which is united under a confederation and sees the Vians as aggressors and a threat to the galaxy, thus declaring the First War. You are their commander. On the far right side is the planet Vienna, home of the Vienna Republic, and they see you guys as a bunch of pushovers. They are your enemy! Marth! My homeland. Here we go. Uh, tutorial. Yes, please. Sp specially programmed artificial generated environment. There is your answer. It does not stand for space. And it's not like, uh, what is it, Linux or Unix? Ooh, hello, can you see me? No, actually, good. Welcome to space. I will now guide you through the program. Right-click to continue. First things first, let me show you the interface. Am I the only one who heard the Star Wars intro in there? Yep, you're the only one. I did not. This is your planet's health bar. It shows how much life you have left before you go boom and lose. Small UI, very small. Boom, lose. This is the health bar of your enemy's planet. It is literally off the screen. I can, what? Can, can, can make small? Alt. Nope. Ah, okay. All right. Finally, this is the build menu where we, where we build ships. I've tried Alt Enter to see if I can make it not full screen, but that is no longer an option now. All right. In fact, seeing that you're kind of lacking a fleet, let's build the ships now. Click on the third button from the left labeled Destroyer. You will be able to see information regarding that on the right side. That's cool. I like that. Feels good. There we go. Now you can see you are building a ship. It's under construction. It is finished. After it is done, it will be placed right next to your planet, which is that round thing, by the way. <laughs> now we will go move on to combat. For the sake of time, I'll just give you all of the ship types right now. There are three main sh ship types. Fighters, which specialize in close range attacks on big ships. Frigates designed to deal with fighters and destroyers, which are good at taking out frigates from long range. There are also battleships, which are basically beefed up destroyers. Now, to select a ship, double click on it, and then you can give it a try. Hello, left ear. Uh, now, okay, I did that. Now you can select in, uh, select multiple by holding down shift and clicking. That's creepy. Last but not least, after a ship is selected, press space, and they will go to where your cursor is. That's cool. Double click on the enemies. Get them, boys. Get them, boys. Yeah, it's going to take them a while. Can I, can I move this around or anything? Uh, shift. Get them. Look, your first adversary. Double click on them for details. Dup, 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 click, dup, dup, click on them. There we go. Fighter, fighting range, uh, light gun, five damage, one second reload. Cool. All right. Well, my guys are just chilling now. They're just, they're good. Get them, boys. 
There you go. Okay, you actually have to shoot them. You're letting them get by. What are you doing? Kill, kill would you kill them, please? Look, they just they just flew by you. What are you doing? I I, I did click on them. Guys, they're gonna kill your planet. Why can't I click? <laughs> Double click. And I can't, I can't advance to the next message. I seem to have, I'm, I'm stuck. And I'm not taking any damage, so I'm not losing. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. I have to hit space, not double click. Double click is to just select them so you can see them. Space is how you actually make them move. That's right. I guess that's why it's called space. All right, them's dead. Great. All right, now let's resummon them and go kill these guys. Hopefully, we can take him out with our th little three-man team since I lost all the rest of their units. Ouch. Oh, no. Pew, 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 pew. One almost dead. Got a nice little beat going on here. Why are they not dying, though? Because I haven't been able to trigger this. Oh. You're going to make me go through it again, aren't you? Dang it. Yeah, because they're not dying. Man. That sucks. That, was, that looked like it was going to be kind of cool. Maybe I can skip the tutorial again. All right, I'm just not going to go full screen. You're on a normal monitor. Yeah, that's a just a regular regular monitor. 1920 by 1080 on my right monitor, which is where this game is being played on. My other monitor is a 1440. I don't, I don't play games on that monitor for that very reason. It looks like it's still cut off. Like you can see the full screen now. If I move that over, it's cut off. At the very bottom, it said that's that's the skip button, and it's cut off. Begin. No tutorial. We're just gonna jump in. Oh, my God. Here they come, boys and squirrels. Get them. Click. Maybe they developed on a giant screen. It's possible, but now you notice this looks fine. In the tutorial, that's where it looked weird. All right, we killed each other. We're going to die, sir. I, I would rather... Much, much rather... Um, Much, much rather do like in StarCraft where you can use your selection tool to grab over. I think double-click is helpful, but I would much rather have it not be the only way that I can do this. They're going to knock out my ships, but I'm going to knock out some of them's. Oh, we got some big boys. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I? Yeah, bring up some more fighters. I'm going to need some. Pew, 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 pew. Get them. 
punch them little guys. Don't take out my ships. Billy, no. Let's get them. Yeah, I think if you ask nicely, I bet they'll stop shooting. <laughs> I'll just send him an email. Crap, not paying attention. I need a destroyer. Thank you, baby. A water will do. Get. Get over there. Oh, no, we're going to lose. I need a battleship. Yeah, knock them down, boys. Oh, we need some little babies. After I get my battleship. Pew, 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 pew. No fair, they already got their battleship out. I don't want to cancel this battleship. I can't, I can't bring it to myself. Oh, I got it too. I got to. Got to bring out these guys. That's the only way. Oh, you're completely missing. What are you doing? What are you... Okay, there you go. Good boy. All right, y'all. You go deal with him. Uh, it's assuming you can actually get there in time. Not looking good. One hit. Wonder! Dang it. Flip. Yeah! And I'm still alive. So that's about 10 minutes there. We're going to send in, we're going to build us a battleship and then we're going to take this down to there. I'm going to go ahead and have uh, this one little lonely guy come chill out here. Have this one start making his way down that way as well. And by the time that we get some of them down there, we can start having our battleship down, down there as well. I really just want a battleship. So yeah, it must have been just in the tutorial. Maybe the tutorial was made earlier on and then they fixed a lot of the stuff in the actual game itself or vice versa. Spent more time on one than the other. That's why we had some weird sizing issues because, like, right now the health bars on both of them look fine. Everything seems to be reacting like it should be, which is good. Can I move these? No. Um, but, yeah, I think this was a, a nice little space race. I think if we... Jeez, that thing is humongous. Heck, yeah, dude. I'll, I'll take that. Look at that thing. That's bigger than the planet we're trying to protect. What the heck, man? Well, it's a good thing they don't have a destroyer. I, otherwise, I'd be I'd be all dead. All right, you're going to you're going to be my intel. Just go go sacrifice yourself. Dude, that's going to take forever to get over there. Oh, my gosh. Maybe it's a really small planet. I, I mean, it's a mini planet. That's for sure. The explosion of that one looks neat. Saw it on Discord. Oh, no. I really don't want to see what it looks like when it explodes. Or it's a Death Star. Yeah, it could be a Death Star as well. Holy cow. Man, that, this is going to take forever, but I have to see it. Have to see it. The time it takes to get that ship to move from there all the way to the other side, that's probably going to be 10 minutes in it. That's a Mario coin sound effect. Let me see how many fighters I can warp in and have come down. <clears throat> maybe if the the ships themselves were just a little bit bigger 
because it's hard to actually click on them. I mean, it's really tiny. They're they're really really tiny ships, and your crosshair is not much bigger than the ship itself. So it's hard to it's hard to move them all around and stuff. Be nice if they were much bigger. I bet you are. Keep it up, Buttercup. Boom. One smash. Two smash. Three smash. Finally getting there. <laughs> Boom. Boom. No. No. Yeah, we're going to be fine. Just don't get in line of fire without him. There we go. Big boy, what are you doing? You just going to run into it? Okay. All right. You do you, buddy. <laughs> All right. Well, somebody kill that. Thank you. Crash. This guy's like, yeah, I'm close enough to the action. I don't actually need to fight anything else. I'm good. Crack. Oh, nice. That was cool. Me likey. That was a cool explosion. With the Viennian Republic destroyed, your people cry with joy and peace uh, has been restored. You have also been crowned hero. As for the debris, as for the debris, you they will be left as a monument of your achievement and the great victory you have gifted to the planet of Mirth. Great job, and thank you for playing. Yeah, they just gave up. They had a whole big fleet and everything coming at me, and then they never refilled their troops like I did, so they just quit. Which worked to my advantage because then I could see all of the ships and whatnot and not worried about being overtaken. Which was totally going to happen if they kept attacking because I'm terrible at those. Alright, so we beat the game. We, we did the thing. We got a couple different ships. I think if we either had a larger hitbox for me being able to target them in like groups, I think that would work better. So I could click those tiny itty bitty pixels or I'd have something a little better than those tiny pixels to click on to group them. Or you can just make this a little bit bigger, have all the ships be just a little bit bigger, make the planets bigger in addition to that. And then I'll just have a better surface area to click so I can group them. Um, I think the speed is fine. I hate slow space battles and stuff like that, but it makes sense because of how far they're having to travel and what type of payload they're carrying to do so much damage. I gotcha. We had some weird stuff in the tutorial that we didn't see in the actual game game itself. Maybe go back and look at that and make sure you don't have any type of weird um, fixed screen resolutions. You have something that's going to auto adjust based off of the resolution. So I'm just playing by 1920 by 1080. So there shouldn't be anything funky there. But I did notice the game starts in like almost full screen, but not full screen. I full screened it, went to the tutorial, and that's when it broke. The other one I did the same, pretty much the same thing. So I'm not completely sure what, what was going on there. Um... <clears throat> well that one ship was like four planets too big i'd, I'd quit too <laughs> oh yep you know what we're good <laughs> um box select yes yes absolutely uh yeah so that was a, a neat little game i liked that the little space simulator there and it was supposed to be a simulator so that definitely felt like that um i would have honestly liked a little more fight back from the other side in like the game, the actual game portion of it, it's nice all from the streamer side because then I just get to see it all. But if I were to totally just play this, then like I bought this game or something, then yeah, I, I would rather, much, much rather have this where it's coming at me full force and I can work on getting better and better at trying to actually beat it. All right, so that game was called Space by Daryl Stake. Thank you so much, Daryl Stake, for making that game for us. On to the next one. 
Today I played a game that had only 4x3 and maxed out at 1280 by 1024 A $15 game on Steam released last year. Wow. What game was that? That's nuts. That is absolutely nuts. The dev wrote in Discord like three minutes ago that the game had finally been fixed. Oh, oh, no way. Was the game broken? Or was or were you talking about the screen thing? Or the fact that they didn't attack you? About space. Yes, it's amazing how many game jams are better than a lot of the shovelware on Steam. Also very true. Also very, very true. We've come across a lot of really, really awesome games. And then there's a bunch of trash on Steam. A bunch of a bunch of Steam. With the comment that stuff is still broken. <laughs> Yay, broken stuff. Mm-hmm. All right, so let me get this next game loaded here. No, 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 The Legend of Viraz, and apparently it was re released this year. I'm going to just do a quick Google on that game. Is that 4x3? Maybe your computer was janked up, because if you look at the pictures... I don't think that's four by three. Yeah, I don't. It doesn't it doesn't look like it? I don't know. Maybe it is. I am not sure. Like, that doesn't look 4x3. That looks almost 60x9. Maybe it was just something janky going on with your computer that day or something. I don't know. I don't know, my friend. It's possible sometimes games don't do well with Windows scaling. <laughs> All right, so we're going to pause the music here and see what we got going on. This is Planetrium by Matabulus. Matapulous. How to play, please. Press play and you will see planets orbiting around the center. You are the blue ball, blue planet. And you click planets, planets, to invade them. Each planet has its good, its side effects, good or bad. Click the planet to invade the planet. But make sure that you won't lose the fight. There is an enemy encounter when you hover over the planet to signify how many enemies there are. Make sure your ally's counter is larger than the enemy counter. That counter in the mental is how long it will take for the planet to be destroyed. It may seem positive, but if three planets explode, then you lose the game. In order to win, you must capture every single planet. Good luck. Yes, easy. Gosh, what, what, who, who am I? What was the other choices? Astronomer. Ain't no way. 40 seconds till next planet is destroyed. I have 20 aliens. Boom. Go. Oh, that's cute. I have eight aliens. 11, 15, 10, 19, 14, 15, 15, 7. All right. I don't have any more until those troops come back. If every planet is destroyed and it says you win, then there's a glitch and you have not won. <laughs> I just read down below. Would you guys like to see the game? There's the actual game. So we just started. I read the instructions and I dropped off a group of my troops on this golden planet down here. And uh, you might want to share the screen. I know. I'm sorry, Dovacane. I lost. All right. So I have this group. I have 20 aliens. So I can try to take on one that is less than that. So let's try that 12. Boom. We're going to drop that in. Three troops per five seconds, plus three in five seconds. So we're getting more people over time. 14, 19, 18. 
I want to have a larger number of troops that I send to them. Otherwise, I get lost. Flatlands is another good one. So are they all the same? Yes, they are all the same if they're the same color, which is good. So now I have 20, so I could probably take on this one right here. So I have more. Drop them down there. I should be able to win that, and I'll get a whole lot more. And I can keep this routine up here. So I can take on 19 in this many seconds. Boom, now get in there. Beep. It's sound effects. It's so cute. I'll throw some music in the background as well so I can take on much, much more. Uh, I see no reason to want to do that. That's less. It's less. Why would I even want to do that? Starvation is common. Again, why would I want to do that? Uh, it's hazardous, but I can still get more troops this way. Uh, there are no hazards, so good there. Blue is good. Green is good. That's now going to be a positive uh, landscape for me, so I can go there. And that's going to be still a positive for me, so I'm going to send a group there as well. It's so cute. Uh, that would be a negative gain for me. But I, I can I can afford to do that now since I have so many more troops coming in. I only got to handle two more. So even with my amount that I have right now, I am covered. So that is all of the planets I now have people on. Can I, can I continue to throw more on there? Why, it does appear that I can. I won! I did it! All right, so there you go. Uh, the objective is pretty much just try to get every, get all of the planets with people on them using your best judgment based off of the rates that they're going to give you. So I can, I can occupy that one. It'll give me a, a net positive, which is what we want. And the more that I do that, the better if I am. Oh, I lost. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't have 14 in my hand. But that's pretty much it. It's it's really just a numbers game. I love that note. If every planet is destroyed and it says you win, then that is a glitch. And you have not, in fact, won. Did it notice until someone pointed it out after the deadline? That's that's great. Uh, green was safe last time. Got three plus troops, so that was good. It's so cute. I love that little sound effect when they land on there. It's just so happy. All right. We'll go after the blues next like we did last time. So it looks like they keep the same stats. They may just change how many are in each of the levels, which is fine. Need 12. 13. Boom. Ay, caramba. Yeah, so, um, mana, mana, mana. I don't know. Maybe we could look at this more of like an orbital pattern, uh, like a solar system orbital pattern instead of just circling like this. Maybe put us a sun in the middle and set this up so we have some sort of orbit around those maybe that could be a cool way to display that make it more of a solar system -y kind of thing instead of just a circle and ball and then take us to each one of those solar systems and see how can we can conquer the solar system uh with our aliens you know we are these extraterrestrial beings coming to take over each of these lands but we have to have enough numbers to do so so that is what we're doing is we're conquering solar system by solar system and each one of them is a little bit more complicated than the previous so we can think level design you know you have each one of those solar system is consistent of a level you're trying to conquer that level before you can go to the next one um that'll give you a little better visual um to look at instead of it just being this circle like i said it could make it a lot more complex as far as how you're getting your aliens to go to those planets maybe you'll have asteroid belts and you have to time sending those aliens through those asteroid belts to go to the next planets out further out into the solar system instead of it just being you know you're sending them from one planet to another in a nice easy circle where there's no obstacles now you have to look out for meteors and um, um, meteor belts and you know if the planets have rings you have to make sure you don't hit the rings 
extra stuff like that in this that we would have to fight and worry about. And then you also have the possibility of these plans getting destroyed if we don't get there in time. So that could be a neat little way to to add some more variety to this game, get it a little a looking looking a little bit better instead of just these circular balls just spinning around. Um, then it at least looks like something that exists in nature. You know what I mean? Um, other than that, I mean, I think it's fun. It's a it's a nice little numbers game where you're just trying to get ahead of the curve and making sure that you're always in the net positive on on uh, your destroying these worlds and you know pr production of aliens or production of, of your soldiers that's cool uh the sound effect when they land on the island or the planets is super cute doesn't really fit in here unless we do have super cute aliens that are taking over maybe they're taking over with cuddles instead of swords and and guns and knives and pew pew lasers and stuff they're just there to cuddle the world to death who knows maybe maybe that's what metabulus is thinking I don't know. You can ask him later. But, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Not really anything else I can really say about this game. I think it's an interesting little idea. I would love to see this evolve into that solar system kind of idea. I think it'd be something that would look really nice. And if you kept going down that road, maybe that's something that you could make mobile. Because you don't need anything complex here. You're just using your finger to send those. And maybe you could do like a little fling thing. Ooh, that could be cool. So if you're thinking about the orbiting thing and you have the asteroid belt that could get in the way, you take your finger and you're sliding from the planet forward to whatever direction, whatever the next planet is, and you have to get them to land on that. So it's, again, adding more complexity to that game. And that would that would work really well on a mobile platform where you can control the, the velocity and or velocity would be correct velocity which was speed and direction of of that alien so that would be that'd be pretty cool i i would enjoy that that is uh planetrium by metabulus thank you so much dude for making that game and thank you i'm glad i got to meet you thanks for coming out to the channel earlier today and hanging out as long as you did i know it's probably uh obnoxious to try to hang out for as long as you have and some of you have been here almost the entire time so I do appreciate all of that. All right. Let's get the next game on the road. Uh, does it full screen well? Yes, it does. Sweet. Yeah. On the road again. We just can't wait to get on the road again. Ooh. All right. X Orbitary by Q Bombs. What is this? Drag and drop to fire your ship, but don't let them crash. Take control of the blue force and the whole galaxy. There's some tunes in the back. Turn that up so you guys can hear. Press space to start. Pre press space to start. Set enter. Whoa. Oh, we are rushing to your aid, blue something. Oh. Well, come on, man. I just warped in here and you've done got my ship blown up. What is. I don't. Click on a planet and drag the mouse to shoot a spaceship in that direction. Try to hit the other planets and conquer them. You are the blue fraction. All right, let's refresh this again. Click on a planet and drag the mouse to shoot a spaceship in that direction. So am I the center planet thing? Oh, 
Oh, there we go. I am the blue faction. Ah, I'm dead. All right, so all right, so we're blue. There we go. So we're trying to stop them. I I played a game a long time ago that was something like this. It's not exact, but it's it's similar. I th I want to say it was like bacterial. But I get it now. I, I get what we're trying to do here. Ooh, big one, big one. Give me. If we take over all of them, then we win. Ooh, that was that was hard. All right, so we've conquered all that area there. We're good there. Do I have any blues up here? Yeah, I do. Boom. Take that out. Boom. Now you nothing. Boom. Now that's mine. Okay, so I own all of that. I own the bottom ones. I gotta get some. I gotta get some blues over there. Hey, 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 hey. You stop that. Oh, smash. Oh, man. I thought I was going to get that. That was close. Oh. Gosh, that's that's tough. Ooh, there's an empty big one. No. No. All right. Here we go. Mine. Oh, that one's empty. Eh. Eh. I only have one. I don't have any I can throw. Eh. Die. Dang it. This one's got five now. Oh, God. That one's got 14. There we go. I just won that one by default. Got him. 35. I did it. You won. Okay, that's cool. We did it. Take control of the blue force and the whole galaxy. Simple enough. We did it. So the way that I've played this type of scenario in the past is we had one main base and it was at the corners of the maps and oh i guess the game froze since i've already beat it and it was trying to get back in the game again but um we would each have a main base that would show our colors and that's where we would have a constant supply of ships that would be constantly getting created or that would be created and i could send those out to the planets that were around me and start building out my um you know my my army and that let me know exactly where everybody was and what I needed to do to try to expand. The way that we're presented with that here is a little confusing. We see this big old giant ship in the center that had 45 on it just blow up. And that's that's kind of all we got there. We don't really know why that is, but it happened. It, it totally happened. No, no real rhyme or reason here. So, oh, miss... Yeah. Of course. Yeah. It'd be nice if we had that same type of approach where we get a little information on, hey, this is the start of your base way over here. Um, if you want to try to expand, try going to the closest planet to you. And that teaches us the core of this game, which is where we are trying to expand our blue ships to somewhere else. Um, ouch, bro. Wanna go? Uh, nope. Whack a doodle, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, uh, it's really fun though. It's really simple, but there's so much precision movement. Oh dang. That um, you you definitely could waste some time playing something like this. And get very frustrated <laughs> in doing so. Wear him down. Wear him down. Gimme. Ow. 
Uh-oh, we got a yeller down here. But, uh, yeah, I, that's that's pretty much it. That's the core of the game here. I think maybe some some better structured orbits, again, would be a nice little thing that uh, would help us make some more sense of what's going on. Maybe three or four different little solar systems that are, you know, within this reasonable size here. That could be... Is that just a black hole? Is that what that's trying to tell me? That could be how we lay out this field here. So I'm going to try to throw one in there. Yeah, it's just a death, death spot. It looks like it's swirling, so it's probably a black hole. <clears throat> yeah, and then that is, that is how we lay out the map itself. And we know that's where each of the different colors starts their reign with one big planet that's orbiting that star. And we're all expanding out. We're trying to take other solar systems into our reign. Um, we've got a start of that where we had maybe one little itty bitty tiny planet that had the colors like that But it just wasn't clear right off the bat I mean there are blue planets and then maybe we didn't even see this little blue tag at the top We just saw these different other colors and until finally we picked up on the clue that hey, this one's actually a blue tag <sighs> Maybe that's maybe that's us throwing our planets around or those are our home planets the next thing I think we could add here is just trying to zoom in. <clears throat> we we can't actually tell that we're supposed to be throwing these things out. Um, you told us in that in the directions, and that's cool. But let's give some sort of indication, kind of like in one of the other games, the pool, the space pool, space billiards, where we would like show a pull back, like we're pulling the stick back before we hit the cue ball. Or the Q planet, just like that here. We drop back, and then we're doing the reverse of that. So it's it's firing the opposite direction. We're firing whatever direction we choose. It's all the same speed. So it'd be nice to have something like that to indicate, hey, this is kind of the direction that you're getting ready to shoot in, and um, this is maybe the speed. Speed's not really as important here. It looks like it's all exactly the same speed. So that's that's a good thing. Don't even have to worry about that yet. But, uh, yeah. This is a cool game. We did it. We played another game. We did another thing. We've got some got some feedback on this game. I think uh, the layout, having these where each one of these has their own space station that maybe doesn't even resemble a planet, but does have our numbers at the top, and we all start off with, like, a quantity of 20. And it's a space race to grab as many planets in that vicinity as possible. So then we start generating a lot of resources or units. And then we start our expanse on trying to control the other solar systems. And give us some sort of indication that we are getting ready to fling one of those spaceships out into orbit from one of our ships. I think would be another very key thing here. So this is ex Extraordinary ex Orbitary by Q Balms. Thank you so much, Q-Bombs, for making this game. We appreciate. We appreciate. 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 All right. Let me get the next game here. <laughs> All right, downloaded. Ooh, that's pretty. All right, so this is Mr. Everything by J.K. Iller. J. Killer 1111. All right, start Unity Project. Okay, all right. We are starting this Unity Project. Ooh. Ooh, level one. Yes, please. 
uh, open level with zero. Z zero? Select the level with arrow keys? Wow, this looks really cool. Uh, with zero? Z with open? Okay, so it's actually open it with with zero. I mean, the letter O. Objective, finish this platformer. Move with WSD or arrows and jump with space. Okay, all right. So finish the platformer as in like, just make it to the end kind of thing. That's kind of what I'm gathering, all right. Okay, I, I don't seem to have control over the camera. Okay, there we go. Now I do. Kind of. I'm, I'm holding the right click to, to, to move around. So there's not, uh, not that true first-person shooter camera attached that most of us are normally going to be used to. Oh, boy. All right, what is this game called? Mr. Everything. You did it. All right, it's level two, and O to select. Find the code. When you find the code, enter it on the box. So five. Whoa, that is that is some one five o one. No, do I need to clip through to find the rest of it? Eight. Five eight one. Insert your code here. Five, eight, one. Got him. Boom. You did it. Okay. Level three. These are really cool models for these planets here. Oh, look. Look, 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 look at the little, the little box. Little cube. That's got the BTB. BTP2 logo on it. That's cool. Uh, insert correct colors. Eh, basic. In box, insert red, blue, yellow for colors. Red, blue, yellow. Black colors mean start and gray means new color. Black means start, gray means new color. Okay, black, so red, blue, blue, red, yellow. Red, oh, red, blue, blue, red, yellow. You did it. Okay, cool. I thought that's what was going on. I just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. Ah, make it a pizza. Make it a soup and make it a sandwich. Basics for each round, you will give, we will give you three recipes and you will press numbers according to what recipe it is for. Pizza, soup, or sandwich. Okay. Bread, salad, cheese, bread is the pizza. Water, carrot, powdered soup is for soup. Dough, sausage, or dough, sauce, and sausage is for the sandwich. Okay. Oh, no. I, I entered buttons. I don't know if I was supposed to enter the buttons yet. Um, mom, help. How, how do I start the, okay, so I'm not allowed to leave this. Uh, do I, do I click on them? These look like buttons, but it it doesn't seem like I can click on anything. Like this feels like it's teaching me how to play, but I'm not able to to go any further. So let me let me try this again. Uh, Mister Everything. I think I've already got it open. Yes, I do. 
La boop. Play. So it's level four. Boom. Okay. I'm ready. It's probably three, two, one, not one, two, three. Oh. Oh, I thought we were actually making, not identifying the recipes. It wasn't until you said that I, I picked that up. Ah, oh, man. All right, I did it. Give me the last level. What I do? Oh. Upload your game to Blackthorn Prod Game Jam 2. Um, ma, uh, uh, um, Pongo, Pongo, Shun. This is a game where music and Pongo meet. It is fabulous. Oh, yes. Thank you for playing my game. This game was made for Black Thor Prot Game Jam 2 by J Killer. Bye. See you in other game. Oh, yes, we will. Yes, yes, we will. That was super meta. That was funny. I, I That was a neat little, neat little thing there at the end. Very, very different. Very different experience. So let's just go back and just admire these beautiful assets here at the beginning. I have no idea if they created all of these or not, but they look fabulous. Just absolutely fabulous. I don't know what's going on there. But man, doesn't that just look good? Don't these just look just real, real nice? I'm just real happy with that. That just looks so cool. I mean, it's nothing like super duper fancy or special or anything, but... I don't know. It just seems to fit really well with this this theme that he's got going on here. They're all just random little worlds that he made displaying different aspects of his talent. The first one was the only one that kind of felt really weird because I couldn't control using first first person uh, camera. My, my camera wasn't attached to the mouse itself. I had to hold down right click and then I could move that around like normal. Um... There was some grammatical things in there, but that was really a small part. We were able to get through them pretty easy. Uh, and they show what the level is about, it seems. Yeah, with the actual planet itself, that's what we're going to be visiting. But that that was small. I mean, there wasn't, it wasn't impossible to understand what's going on. Like I've had some games in the past. You did a really good job of getting the core of what we need to know in the game. Grammar, grammatical errors or not. Uh, open the level with zero. Open the level with O. I I might I might change that to like enter or space or clicking on the level or something like that just to not confuse people. I know a lot of people will differentiate the two by putting a slash through the zero so it's clear that this is a numerical value and not an alphabetical value. But still, nonetheless, not everybody does that, so it still could be a very easy to get confused. That would be the biggest tip I think I could add for you, other than maybe just getting someone to peer review some of your text on here to make sure that it's very clear on what you are wanting the player to do. But I, I liked it. I think I had a good time here. It was neat seeing all these mini planets, kind of like mini games. They were mini, they were planets with mini games on them. That's a, a neat little way to take and interpret this uh, interpret this theme. Very good. Awesome. We didn't have any music throughout this. I don't think we had any sound effects either, but uh, that'd be something that you can just add in the next revision itself. I'm not gonna say it's gonna add a whole lot to this type of game because we're not going for a particular story vibe or theme vibe. This is more of a abstract level design where we're kind of phasing in and out between these different planets to achieve uh, small or to complete these small challenges. So not really given a main character not giving a storyline or plot or anything like that just warping between these different worlds kind of thing but good job this was uh mr everything by j killer 10111 i keep wanting to call him jk killer but it's j killer instead 
whatever. Pichu. Alright. So that was Mr. Everything. Next game on our list is called Newton's Nightmare, Nightmare by Applecat. Let us download the game and let us take a look. And just to uh, uh, pose a question who's been here for a good amount of time. Have you guys noticed any latency or um, audio syncing issues with my voice or anything? I'm using the new codec or encoder, I guess is probably the appropriate term. Yeah, encoder that uh, is in the new OBS. It's NVIDIA's NV uh, NVNC. It's the new edition one. It's the H264. It's literally just says new inside of it. There was a new update here recently. I've noticed syncing issues. Yes, you've noticed some syncing issues with my voice or like delay in um, in like everything. No issues for me. Because there may be a delay in the stream and that really has to do with where you are. If there's been any type of you know drop in connection, they'll do some buffering on your side, but delay in your voice at least. Okay, gotcha. There has been some times where I know absolutely that's happened total this entire stream i've only dropped 144 frames and i think that's pretty good for a 12 hour streams but the new encoder does seem to free up some of the uh cpu which is good for me i always ready to get back more if possible let me just check something up here yeah i mean cpu is like stupid low compared to what it was using the other encoder Yeah, it looks like there's been just a couple issues on the stream side, at least, based off of the stats and everything. But, I mean, for the entire stream itself, it's pretty dang nice. <clears throat> 144 frames, that's like an entire playthrough of virtual hide lid. What is that? The movements of your lips didn't sync up with the words that I was hearing. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. And some of that is like those games that go in and out when they're changing resolution. OBS like has a freaking panic attack on those. And it literally like stalls the game. And I'll even get a little message on OBS saying, whoa, hey, buddy, what you doing there? Uh, you, you, trying to, you trying to kill me here? What's what's the deal? But OK, as long as it's not like, yeah, it's a consistent thing that I'm, I'm pretty happy with the new encoder. I didn't get a lot of time to testing it like I wanted to, but I really wanted to use it for this since some of these games can be kind of extensive in a under uh, or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Thing, brain, think. Not rendered properly or not... Uh, I don't know. Not rendered properly is the best that I can get. It, it's it's not that's not what I'm looking for though. You've been streaming for many many hours. Brain is no longer an option. Hey derp, I derp, I derp. I know I got an hour and a half left. I feel pretty good. I feel like I've definitely lost some of my some of my mind. This is the longest stream that I've done for short ten minute games. And I've played uh, almost 40. I've got the next game that I play will be number 40. <clears throat> poorly optimized. There we go. That's what, that's what I wanted to say. The, the game is poorly optimized. And that's true for a lot of these games. Just because maybe it was coded very quickly and efficiently. Or, you know, you just maybe didn't know how to code it efficiently. So when you put it on like a beefy red computer, 
And all of a sudden it's like, yeah, I'm going to render everything from here to Mars because I don't know how to say I only want to render this amount. Then you get into these weird things where your computer's like, I don't know, man, I can play COD on max settings using two graphics cards on a 1440 monitor at 144 hertz. But when you throw this little Pong game at me, I'm ready to cry. I see that kind of stuff all the time. It doesn't make any sense, but it just drives me nuts. All right, so this is Newton's Nightmare by Apple Cat. This looks cool. Nice little start screen. All right. Did I did I really click close on that? Is that is that what happened there? I didn't think I did. There's a concept in physics known as Newton's cannon. If you were to fire from a cannonball high above the ground, it would travel some distance and then obviously fall. But if you fire the projectile with high enough velocity, it would escape the curvature and become an orbiting satellite. During his life, Newton would contribute to the science of many, many ways. For example, forming the laws of dynamic dynamics or creating the foundation of calculus over which we would often argue with Leb Lebniz. We can only imagine what would his what what would this great man's dream or nightmares look like P play there we go uh okay 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 Do, do I need to be like hurting them into into this cannonball? Yes, it does appear that I should be hurting them into the cannonball. Because why not? Ow. I got shot by my own cannonball. But I, I can't really control the cannonball? That sucks. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Just line it up just like that. Hey, you're getting off course. Quit it. This is a weird game. Oh, we got fast ones. Ooh. There we go. Just line them up. Come at me. Come on. Come on. That, that, that one should be... Oh, no. Dang it. Oh, I died. So, whatever reason, you can see my mouse. Like, I'm on the play button. But that's saying quit. Turn down that audio some more. Fix my screen so that's not going off. Like it, for whatever reason, wants to. There we go. It's a go. Play again. Ah, die. Do I have to be stopped? Maybe that's why. Nope. I hit, I hit left click to fire the cannonball. But then once it fires, that's all she wrote. Yeesh. Come on, don't spawn them right on top of me. What kind of fun is that? Ooh. Just find the cannonball. Nope. Nope. We're going to go this way. All right, let's do it again. Follow me. Oh. Man, I just want to see all of them get hit at once. One good one good hit. Oh. <laughs> all right, come on, crowd. Right in this line right here. Right here. Right here. Come on. Yeah. Man, I missed every single one on that one. Nope. So 
I'm getting more lives as, as I go. I guess because I'm hitting them. Nice. As long as I stay close to that, they'll keep following me. And I guess I go fast enough when I'm going this way. Forward versus reverse, which is good. Oh, no. It changed pass because I hit it. I haven't fired it yet. I'll just walk straight with it. There we go. I win. They'll eventually get behind me. There we go. <laughs> Two bar loop at best. Oh, they must be cutting off. Because they lose speed with me. Yeah, you see them starting to cut off there. Tag nab it. So then they don't get hit. Yeah. Ah! That worked out pretty cool. Oh, slow down there, sister. Goodness gracious. Alright, well I mean I don't I don't see any other point to this game. I'm not seeing us getting past the levels. I think this is really all there is. There is just us chasing or using this cannonball as a way to lure or, or to defeat these enemies. So I'm luring them with my person to try to get them lined up and clumped together. That way the cannonball can um, hit them as best as possible and as easy as possible. Um. Come on, my children, follow me. Well, that—that's pretty much it. I—I, I, I mean, I don't even know. Oh, that's so satisfying. I don't even know what else we could really do because I'm not really sure what is going on. Is this like the community, or his congregation, or his family and friends, or coworkers, or colleagues, or whatever that don't believe in him? And so we are just exploring um, this weird dream, maybe, that he's having. Boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. And um, we're, we're getting his satisfaction of being able to defeat these people with his cannonball logic. Because we're not even really achieving the thing that he had set out to do, which was nice. Um, wish I could retract the cannonball. That'd be, that'd be really nice. But I can't. Otherwise, just getting hit. Which might be worth it if I have a good crowd of them. We're not even getting to see the thing actually, like, leave and go into orbit. Now, it's, it's flying around the planet. So, I guess, technically, it is orbiting the planet. It's just a very, very low orbit itself. It's not what we normally see in orbit but maybe maybe that suffices it, it's enough to say that it is orbiting because it's not touching the ground and it is going all the way around so as talking through that yes it is actually orbiting okay so that's enough of this music um the characters they're interesting looking they are definitely modeled after humans you can tell that our main character is newton himself i'm not really sure what the other people are like i said still trying to put that together but i'm not sure somebody who doesn't doesn't agree with him or doesn't think that his theory is is uh, is actually true or viable in the science community maybe something like that and this is him showing yes yes it actually is and i'm using it to stop you that is how that is how true it actually is and how 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 much it's really working i don't know um i would love to see me be able to use that cannonball a little bit more maybe we just expire the ball after set amount of time that that would be a nice thing to to have and see um oh hey i know this person eh, eh, eh. and instead of it just being 
constant, you know, let it expire or let me, as I get better and better, I can throw more and more cannonballs out onto the scene and I can attack more and more people instead of just trying to drive them around that certain cannonball. I think that would be a good thing, a good thing to do. But that was Newton's Nightmare by Applecat. Thank you so much, Applecat, for making this game. Sharing that with us, I do preach. Do preach, do preach. All right. I'm excited to play this next game. This is the moneymaker right here. This is the one. Well, we hope so anyways. We're about to find out. So this is... Let me see if I can get it full screen. Come on, baby. Do all the log motion. This is Tiny Planets by Black Thorn Prod. That seems really quiet to me, but I'm assuming it's going to get louder in a little bit, and it's going to like blow our ears off. This game was made by Noah for the second Black Thorn Prod Game Jam for cool game dev tutorials and game dev blog. Ga dev blogs. Check out my YouTube channel, Black Thorn Prod. And the, for those of you that are veterans of my channel and have never heard of Blackthorn Prod, please go check out his stuff. In fact, let me just give you that link to his channel really quick to make sure that you do get that because it is very important that you see his stuff. It, without him, number one, this stream would not be happening right now. We would not have a larger community because of that. Number two, a lot of people would have not even decided to try game dev Um if it wasn't for him because he ha he has really really good tutorials on top of that he also has two udemia courses if you would like to go check those out they are purchasable you can buy them from his site it does help him it also helps you learn how to make games as well he has two different ones one is like entry level basic a little easier to understand and the other one is more familiar is, is more for people who are a little more familiar with coding so go check those out if you'd like to support him please do at least give him a subscription on your YouTube channel. That would be, that would be very nice of you. Very, very nice of you. So let's take a look and see what he's created here. Play. Okay, so hold down over a planet to move it. Stop planets from colliding with each other. Okay, so the sounds are there. That is the focal point. Oh, I like that. Look at those particle effects, man. They are nuts. All right, I have them alive. Now, now. Now, now, children. Now, now. Oh, I killed one. I'm so sorry. Y'all stay in your corners. Got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Two more seconds. Got it, all right, still good. Oh no, oh no. Oh, these sounds are beautiful. I love them so much. Ooh. Nope, 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 nope. Get, 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 get. Oh, no. Oh, did I make it or not? Oh, I only had like one second left. Dang it. You know, get way over there. Can I use my cheat trick? Yep, I think I can. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. I love that so much. Watch. Let's see if I can do it again. <laughs> Just kick him off the screen. Oh, but I guess they're still running into each other over there. Get over there. <laughs> And then he finally comes back after a couple couple seconds. Oh, that's cool. Just control one and make sure that it stays kind of far away from each other. And that kind of keeps them all at bay. That's neat. Oh, how about that? Oh, no. Ouch. I, I'm kind of worrying where we actually are now. These kind of look like veins and arteries and stuff. These sounds... It's, it's supposed to be hot. 
So Noah, in case you didn't see what I actually did here, I can, if anybody has a secondary screen, as long as you're holding onto them, you can take them out of the map itself and that will count as playable space because you are still holding down the trigger. You are still holding down the trigger. So it is registering that position, even though it doesn't physically exist on the screen, that position in game still exists, just like your canvas or your panel within Unity itself. You know, you may be zoomed into a certain portion of that screen, but it is really there. I let them get way too close. <laughs> Stay over here as far as I can. Come way up here. Straight. Keep them separated. Oh, that's hard. So I have to outrun it kind of thing, maybe? Yeah, that's tough. Crap. That's, that's tough, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Uh, I haven't played that game in so long. Banjo-Kazooie. What's that other one? Ukulele? Oh, they love each other. Oh, they're so happy. Oh, my gosh. They're so cute. But I, I want to I see someone who can figure out how to fix that little bug thing that's going on there. Dang it. That one looked like Ditto. That top one? Dang it. I need to separate them. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. Dang it! <laughs> Don't do it! Dang it! Dude, that's hard! There we go. Use the full length of the screen that way. Instead of up and down. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Dude, I love your art style <laughs> so much. It's so pretty. It really is. Oh my god. Dang it. Dang it. Can I get all three labeled like that? Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Dang it! Five seconds left. <laughs> Dang it! Seven seconds left. It's uh, so tough! I love these particle effects. They look more like clouds and less like what you're trying to make them actually be. Like the flowers or... What? No! Oh man, I finally got them un un untwined. Dang it. Okay, so that's the way, that's the quickest way to do it right there. Here, here, separate, 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 separate. Oh, so close. Nope, 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 nope. Not this time. Not this time, sisters. Y'all gonna be separated. Leave room for Jesus. Goodness. Well, we got some stubborn ones now. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Look, they don't want to play. Guys, they just want to rest. Oh, oh no. Oh. I know it looks fun. It looks like they just want to hang out, but Grandpa needs their naps. It's not time. Just leave them to nap. Oh my goodness. Oh, dang it. You know, I thought when planets exploded, they make the little little more noise, but I guess I guess I was wrong. Got him. Shoo. What is going on? Dude, what? <laughs> I can't move that guy. I can just click on him. Can these guys run into each other? Nope, not allowed to do that either. Okay, cool. I'll just start dragging them in the corners. 
Dang it. I don't know how many levels you have, but my goodness. God, dude. No, no. Oh, three seconds left, man, dude. Back at it, back at it. Got to make sure you throw them in that corner. I mean, they got to go as far back as possible. I'm not really trying to use that cheat right now. It just kind of is happening because I can only push it back and just hope for the best there. Oh, tough. Whoa. What the heck? Oh, they just they shoot towards each other. Okay. That's cool. Nope, nope. Oh, mm. Dang, dude, that's a lot to keep up with. Ah, oh, <laughs> that's hard. I love your designs, though. I really do. I love your characters, the way that you have them all uh, super inky and whatnot. I just think they look really neat. Uh, the sound effects that you create for each one of these characters, along with the backgrounds to make them very themed, is amazing. Now we're, oh no. And now we're starting to create, dude, what the heck? Oh no, I can't stop killing you. Oh, that's right, I can move that and still. Um, the themes and stuff that you create are amazing. They really are. Eh. No, oh, and now we're starting to mix the worlds. <laughs> No! Oh, please get away! Oh, heavens! Oh, no! Oh, God! It's so much harder now. Oh, no! Ah, I'll just put one behind, and then I'll have to deal with one. There we go. That's what we do. Get this guy behind me. No, don't look at him. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it! Dang it, Billy! Oh, I can just move him around. That's probably easier. Yeah. Oh, ha, ha. Dude, that's tough. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god. This is nuts. Oh. <laughs> oh, I hate this one. It's so good. It's so good. I don't mean that in a bad way. I just hate it because it's so hard. No, 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 no. Oh, dang it. <laughs> no, no, no. No, stop it. Listen to the sounds. It's just pure chaos now. That's great. Nope. Nope. Oh, okay. We'll just smash him right into the face. No big deal. Huh. Dang it. Put you back in the center. Ish. Nope. Too far. Too close. Uh, ogre, ogre. Nope. Get up there. Nope. Oh. I can't click on them quick enough. I can't. I can't get to them. Man. Oh. Oh man. There we go. Just 
just keep it way far off on the side. Ooh, whoa. Oh, oh, great. Now we have electricity. And we have one that constantly is attracted to it. Great. Oh, dang it. Now this reminded me more of the world of goo. Never played. Dang it. I need to head out now. Thanks for presenting all these games. It's been fun watching. Thank you so much, Drew. Druisha. Druisha. I hope you had a great night. I hope you enjoyed hanging out on our stream. We've had a blast having you here, and playing all these games and laughing with me, laughing at me, laughing hopefully more at these games than me, but probably more than me. But thank you so much. I really appreciate you for hanging out as long as you have. Hope you have a great night. Sleep tight. Don't let those bed bugs bite you. Ooh. Don't, don't, don't. Nope. 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 I got it. Whew. Final. Oh, oh, what? Are you nuts? <sighs> corners, 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 corners. All right, so this is supposed to be the last one here. Oh, what, 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 what? Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my God. Oh! <laughs> No, God! Do you see this? Oh! I can't even get away! Oh my God! I agree, it's adorable art style, but dang! It's so hard! Get out of here, get out of here, get out of here! Oh! What is even happening right now? No, do not touch. Crap. Oh my gosh, dude. Dude, I can't I can't click accurate enough to get them to stay away. Like really? Look at that. Oh no! Adorable, bloodthirsty style, cute, but bred for death. Oh! We did it! Yeah! That was hard. Oh, this is cute. Thanks to your great deeds, the tiny planets continue to exist. Horrifying collisions between planets have come to an end. The universe is at peace. Thanks for playing. Let me know what you thought of Tiny Planets and consider checking out my YouTube channel, Blackthorn Proud. Awesome sauce, dude. Another one of your masterpieces. I love the art. I love the characters. I love the world that you're building. Everything is super cute, but it's very theme heavy. I love it. You started us all very small, introducing just a couple characters that had very simple mechanics with them. As we went along, we started to stop playing with those and start playing with new ones. We learned those. We became familiar with those. A little bit later, then we started to merge those two worlds together, introducing some of each of these different worlds in a way that we understood how to interact with them, but also we're still challenged by these new um, couples that you created within this. Awesome. You could feel that there was a mix between the two worlds, the art style and the backgrounds that we had, and also the music as we started to go forward and starting to get more chaotic and and kind of creepy and just at an ease all throughout that. That was really cool. I enjoyed that so, so much. Each of the challenges felt very different. It didn't feel like we were just, you know, taking a concept and then just adding point two to the end of it to make it a kind of a different thing. No, this was like a full major revision difference for each one of the different 
um, planets that we were working with, and then the combinations of the planets, each one of them felt drastically different. Super good job. The sounds, awesome. I love each of the individual sounds for these characters. The art for the individual characters and how that you have them designed was amazing. Um, that final boss, oh my god, that was legit. I don't know how many times I died on that, but it felt a good amount, and I was proud that I was able to get that finished. Thank you so much for being such an awesome inspiration for the community. Continue pressing in on making these games, dude. I honestly cannot wait until you release something on Steam that, you know, just has everybody coming back to your channel to learn how in the world that you've created such an amazing game and such an amazing community. I, when I was sending out that message on your Discord of over 6,000 members, I, I, I am inspired by you daily, by your crap, dude. It, it's amazing. It really, really is. Um, thank you for working so hard to create this. I know that a lot of people thank you, and I know that they have that. There's plenty of people that you know just send you these little likes or whatnot on your YouTube channel. But it it really does inspire me and many people others to have the same type of attitude. You don't have to be this loud mouth, bragging, prideful, um, just jerk to become famous or to become you know known in a community. You, you have definitely set yourself apart from other people that are in the game dev community, period. You're doing it different, and I really am glad that that is the case, dude. So, number one, thank you for being such an awesome person. Your character, who you are to your core, that I've known you at least, is, is authentic, is real, and is really cool. Thank you so much for that, and thank you for your awesome community, your awesome YouTube channel, and this cool game jam that is starting to become, I guess, an annual thing, maybe semi-annual thing. I don't know, whatever your thoughts are, but thank you for, for, for making this game. Thank you for being you. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about Tiny Planets by Blackthorn Prod. Awesome, awesome job, dude. Also, do you have just like a little little hand harp or something that you're making these notes with? Is that is that what you decided to do on this part? I need some really cute little 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 Tony music. How shall I do this? Go get, go get one of those little hand harps. Or hand chimes. What are those things called? Hand harps? Is that right? You play with your thumbs or something? I can't remember. <clears throat> but yeah, dude. Keep up the good work. I I, I want to see you get big. I want to be like, I remember. I remember when he only had 6,000 members on his Discord, not 2 million. And Discord was asking him, like, please, split your community or something. You got too many. You're going to kill our servers. That'll never happen. You, you would never see them saying, we want you to leave or split. They'll accommodate you. You are so awesome. All right. On to the next game. Looks like we got about... I might be able to get three more in here. We're just going to leave the list as it is. And then I'm, I'll, I'll add a couple more if we actually have room to play them. Because it is 11.07 right now. So we have 52 minutes. And I don't seem to be able to get this game to start. Starting, starting, starting. Where is this game? No, no details, nothing listed, not showing as an app or a background process. Dadita is not. No luck on that game. Looks like we're going to be skipping hops, hop worlds by A D A D A S D A D S. A D S D A D S. Sorry, dude. Could not get your game to play. I am so sorry. I have tried. Although this one looks like it's going to work. So that one went full screen. Good. 
All right, so this is our 40th game, if I've counted correctly. This is Terra Sniper for, or Terra Sniper by Aether, I think is how that's probably supposed to be pronounced. Boom. All right, launch. Terra Sniper. Terraform and make habitable all of the planets in the solar system by shooting them with terraforming charges to win. It's a little loud for me. I'll pop that down. I'll pop down that on my side too. Next. Use blankety blank to terraform blankety blank. Okay. Hold and release to charge and launch. Use Q and E to cycle between the different types of charges. Use WASD to move the camera. All right. Q and E. So we're going to terraform here. Oh, into the sun. Oh, and I have a certain amount of charges. Oh, dear. Okay, so that one worked. Yeah, you win. Next level. All right, we did it. Turn that down just a little bit more. We got some, some peaking. Planets have varying degrees of atmosphere: new atmosphere, proper atmosphere, and dense atmosphere. Use blanket to blank to terraform the atmosphere. Okay, so if there is none, we use purple. If there's too much, we're going to use the opposite E. So darker color versus a lighter color. None. So we're going to use purple. Oh, no. I've done a bad. Oh, whoa. Oh, we have gravity, too. Oh, interesting. Oh, no. Oh, that's a bummer. All right. Let's go ahead and try to hit this guy. Dang, dude. Come on now. What? Dang. I love this orbiting thing. That looks sick. That looks so cool. Got him. All right, so now you got a perfect atmosphere. Now we got to work on you, Mr. Fancy Pants. Get in there. Wow. Ah. There we go. All right. Too cold, so we need to burn them up a little bit. And now you need an atmosphere. Oh! oh. Got him! That was nice. Ah. Uh, I'm going to have to get lucky. Ooh. Oh, I'm getting changed by the other planet's orbit or gravity. Maybe I can circle that one in? I don't think so. I think I've just added an extra planet. Dang it. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, the middle one was what? I think it was fire, so I need to use ice. Yeah. It, it just pulls inward. I, I really have to, like... And super anticipate that. Oh. But that's really cool that it does that, though. I, I like that. Gosh, it's hard to hit, but it's still really cool. How do I zoom out again? Was there a zoom out? Ah. Uh. So it's going to pull in, so I need to go like that. Oh, it missed. Oh, that was my last one. It's going to hit the sun. Dang it. I lost. Nope. I almost feel like sometimes it pulls a little too much to me. I don't know. Uh, frozen. Dag nabbit. Uh, oh, oh, 
that's quite the orbit there, bud. Yeah. Oh no, you're 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 way off orbit now. Dude. And I can't zoom out or anything? I just kinda have to deal with what I got here. Ice, ice. No, <laughs> dang it. That's not going to do that any good. I mean, is that an absurd, absurd amount, ab absurd <laughs> amount of gravity for that? I mean, that seems like a lot to me. Oh, oh, that's not even the right one. Okay, never mind. If I hit the the moon-like one, that'll work. Or that one, yeah, that that one. Totally absurd. <laughs> Shut up, Josh. <laughs> Nobody asked you, man. Actually, I guess I did. Absurd. <laughs> it's late, dude. <laughs> I've lost it. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, I've just got to shoot out into the space. Don't forget that you can... That's what I wanted to know. Hey, what's up, Aether? You're just coming to watch me die and, and laugh. and. Uh, so that one's frozen. <laughs> oh, it's so tough, but it is really fun slingshotting all of this around in space and hoping that it just circles back after like 400 times into the right place. Hopefully it doesn't like take the planets that are already now perfect and oh, turn them into hot planets. Dag nabbit. Well, at least it's got the great atmosphere. All right, so that's good now. Or, oh, I guess it did hit the right one. Did it hit the right one? Oh, I did a good. Look at me. I think. I'm not 100% I'm not sure now. All right, so I'm just going to wait for that one to come around because I only have four more charges. Oh, that took us so long to orbit it. Mm, doom. But this is fun. I, I do feel like sometimes that sun's pull is a little too heavy in some cases. Like, it just seemed like it was it was really, really strong when I'm, like, way out here. It shouldn't be pulling in that quick. I, don't, I wouldn't imagine. I'm not an expert or anything. And I don't claim to be, but... Nope. It just seemed like it was just a little sharp. Please, please. Okay, atmosphere, atmosphere, atmosphere. Go, 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 go. No, Billy. Oh, God, get out of the way. 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 No. Didn't have enough time to balance the numbers. No worries. Did I get them all? Is that right? What did I do wrong? Oh, I froze the planet instead of giving it an atmosphere. Oh, and that was dumb. It's going to go straight into the sun. Dang it. Oh, that's going to miss. All right. Let's watch this one just go around and destroy one of my other planets. We got about a minute left on the clock. I think this is fun. You've done an excellent job at getting this game put together. I've had a lot of fun. You you call this terra sniping. I call this terra slingshot because that is what I feel like I'm doing most of the time. Uh, the sound effects are fun. The graphics that display each of these. Oh my gosh, is that going to ricochet back and hit that? Oh, so close. Maybe the next time. Um, for each of these little planets and what they're supposed to look like, I think that looks legit. It looks real to me. 
That's what I would kind of expect to see. So very cool, very good, easy to follow. And I, yeah, I just forgot the directions that we were going to be. We could use WASD to move our camera around. Otherwise, I probably could have got some of these shots a little easier. I do like how there is some pool based off of these planets in some of the other like literal planet games that we've played today. There hasn't been a lot of pool. There hasn't been a good amount of pool like you would expect to see. So I'm very glad to see that. That that does make me very excited. Um, so for good job on that aspect for sure. I think uh, we've we've definitely had a blast. I've definitely hooted and hollered about this game quite a bit more, which is a good sign. That's a, it's a good sign. Uh, it's a, not a bad hoot and holler. It's a good hoot and holler. Oh my god! No! <laughs> that was so close. They just passed by each other and waved and said, "Oh no." No, please come back. This is where you're supposed to be. And you can tell I have no patience. I'm I'm ready to uh, I'm ready to I'm ready to make it fly. Where it's supposed to be right now. Oh, come on. Right into the sun. Tag nabbit. I'm going to make it arctic. Super arctic. Nope, not even going to do that. I'm just going to affect one of the other ones. But good job in making this game. I had a lot of fun playing this. It feels really good. The music in the background feels good. Your sound effects are good. I understood how to play the game. Um, you introduced it to me very well. You gave me more planets as we went along and talked me through each of the different types of uh, or orbs or essence. I can't remember what they were called them, what you called them, but I did feel it was very easy to understand that. I think another quick little thing you could probably have atmospheres, everything. So the terraforming abilities, what you called those as a whole um i guess just abilities terraforming charges charges that's what they were you called them terraforming charges um but yeah good job i think maybe a quick zoom out button where it's just going to show me the whole solar system as it's orbiting um just by i don't know hitting shift pulls out the map really quick lets us see everything and then lets me go back in because sometimes i don't need to go all the way over here to see the opposite side of that I may just need to see how close they are on this side before I can line up a good shot or over on this far side. I don't need to zoom all the way over here because it I don't want to fire from this range. Right. That that is <laughs> that is some dangerous and stupid territory. All right. Well, let me try to fire across past the sun over in this un, uncharted territory. That's not going to work for me. But by just being able to quickly zoom out, I can glance and see, OK, how are they doing here? How fast are they coming in to try to line up that shot on this side, which is going to be my best angle because um, I can fight against that sun and kind of keep a straighter path by going that way, at least in my opinion. Very cool, dude. Very, very cool. So this was Terra Sniper by uh, Aether. Thank you so much, Aether, for making this game. This was a lot of fun. Um, I, I, uh, I've definitely hooted it and hollered it quite a bit there, my, my buddy. So good job. Good job. Good job. Glad you enjoyed it. Oh, I did. All right. It is time for some Dovaking. Dovaking by our uh, Dovaking of Rivia. Lerth is the game that we're going to play. So this is 41. 41 here's the working link that's right you were going to give me the working link not the not working link we like the working link this game was made during blackthorn prod game jam but the original page was accidentally uploaded with nothing but an empty zip file my favorite Hello. Hello, Andy. Welcome. How are you? We has about 30 minutes left of stream. Then we are going to go the night to night. And then I will be back tomorrow at the 7 p.m. to stream and hang out with you dear wonderful folks yet again. Le boop. So if you have enjoyed my content, if you've enjoyed my personality, or if you've enjoyed just laughing at me, make sure you come on back. 
make sure you come on back tomorrow and later next week, Saturday, we will be finishing up a game called Gris. It's a game that we started uh, last Saturday. It looks like we are in this wonderful watercolor world. It's lots of really pretty music. Um, it's been a blast for the, for the stream. The music and the, the light puzzle solving is, is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It's been beautiful. I am fine. My game is not that good, but I made it. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you uh, you got your game submitted and you got, you got something that you can at least say that you created and published. So, kudos for you, dos, dude. But, yeah, y'all should come back next Saturday. Or tomorrow at 7 p.m. and then also next weekend at 7 p.m. It's going to be a laid back stream for me. We're going to just talk about that wonderful game that we're playing, hanging out, and whatnot. How is your green screen such good? Well, thank you, Andy. I have. All of the sound is coming out of the right headphone for this game, by the way. Just so you know. My green screen is good because I have two giant screens in front of me or um, lights in front of me that are providing some good soft white light. So that illuminates the screen behind me. And then also I have no, <laughs> I don't have any lights on behind the green screen. That's a lot of, that's, a, that's, I see that quite a bit. People make that mistake is they're like in a, in like a living room or something. And then they'll have the overhead light on behind them. That's casting light where you want nothing but darkness. So that's two major tips. Make sure you have good lighting on the front side and no lighting on the back side. But yes, this is my actual house. This is my giant couch. <laughs> just kidding. I, I'm fine. It's just getting late. It's just a little, just a little late. All right. So let's take a look at this. Lurth by Dovakin of Rivia. Boop, boop. New game. All right, so now we're back to stereo. Can I can I capture that any better here? Let me try. Just get rid of at least my start menu down there. Let's screen that up a midgen. Boom, that looks a little better. Welcome, hello and welcome to Lirth. Lirth is the name of your planet, which is one of many in the universe, but you'll learn more about that later. Oh, before you jump into the game, I just want to remind you that you can customize your controls in the options menu. Now let's get with it. Let's get cheeky with it. Ooh, Noah. Hey. Is this supposed to be Noah from Blackthorn Prod? That was the best sleep I've had in a long time. Cool. Still look the same as I always do. I'm really hungry. I should probably go get some hunting and cook something on my stove. I agree. Let's go do some huntings. There I am. Okay, so let's go do some hunting. It's named after him. Yeah. Will you play these games tomorrow? Unfortunately, no. I only have enough time for one day. One day only. That's why I do a 12 hour stream. Oh, creepy, creepy. Woofy, woofy. I like Noah's mustache. There are tons of collectibles, items around the world, just so you know. Gotcha. A chaka, chaka, chaka. Cool, cool. Okay, you know, basic uh, RPG maker kind of stuff here. Let's see if this is going to be helpful to me. I found rope. Okay, we have rope. We're supposed to be hunting. Again, I only have music music in my right ear. When I get in game or uh, the combat screen, now I have music in both of my ears and the sound effects are in both of my ears as well. So you won't play any more game gem games just from Blackthorn Prod. So I will be playing other game gem games tomorrow from a game gem called Weekly Game Gem. Unfortunately, I just don't have any more time to dedicate and I do have a consistent, uh, consistent stream that I, I, I I have to do. It's just part of part of my channel. La, no, like BTB, BTB. Nope. 
Unfortunately, it's a one stream only. I've played 40... This will be 41. So I won't be able to play anymore. I've played plenty, a lot of, a lot of them. I don't know how many games ended up being submitted. When I looked right before it was over, there was like 105 games submitted. So I submitted quite a bit. So I've killed a bunch of animals back. I don't know. I don't want to heal, but I also don't want to accidentally destroy the game. So I'm just going to heal. Probably wouldn't have been a bad idea anyways. Two hundred. Yeah, that's I mean I'm I'm content with that. I've played almost a quarter of all of the games. Yeah, I'm I'm good with that. Sorry, Andy. When you have other commitments, you you gotta you gotta prioritize the real life. Alright, so he's all dead and stuff. Wish you played my game, but whatever. Sorry man. There's lots of other streamers who will be playing games. So if you would like to go check out um uh um Oops, almost dead. Can I hit escape? Yes, I can. Mr. Josh McLean, he is one of the dudes who plays games. There is also Tiger J. He also plays games and has been playing these games. Both of them are going to be playing on Monday and Tuesday as well. The final count is 315. That's a lot of games. That's awesome. Okay, so can I go back to town now? Or should I go back to town now? I've been hunting. I've been skills and stuff. Oh, uh, LV. Oh, how you doing, girl? Or guy. Could be guy. Welcome, welcome. You get them good old thumbs. Pretty soon here, you're going to get the thumbs and the what face. Because uh, I now have enough uh, Twitch subs to have two slots. Okay, so. Oh, 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 oh. What the? Okay. We're good? Y you're going to not freak out now? We good now? Hmm. Can't cook. What should I cook? Here we go. You can go back and cook at the stove in your house. The actual story progression is in one of the houses in the town. Oh! I made cooked deer meat. All right. Well, let's go visit one of the houses if that's what I'm actually supposed to be doing. How you doing? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, Noah. Thank you. You're here. I desperately need your help. What do you need from me? Allow me to explain. We live in the Mutu Mutasmic Galaxy, which is only one of many galaxies in the universe. Our galaxy is home to many planets, including the one that we are on right now. As you know, our planet goes by the name Lurth, and it is an average-sized planet. What you may not know is there exist too many planets close enough for us to reach using magic. Our fear... I fear our planet may be on the verge of total annihilation or destruction. That's why I need you to go to these mini planets and steal their magic crystals. As much as I hate to harm any other species or planets, we need to protect ourselves first. The magic from the stolen crystals should give us enough power to reach a further out planet that we could survive on. The two mini planets we could can reach are called Ishgarb and Wateg. Ishgarb is Ishgarg is a planet made of mostly ice, so you're going to have some troubles moving around. Meanwhile, Wateg is a planet made of mostly water, so I made sure to get a boat out there for you. There's a magic portal that I've opened up at the right side of the lab. You can use that to teleport to one of these mini planets. I would suggest starting with Ishgarg. Because the inhabitants of that planet are slightly less of a pain to deal with. I know this is a lot to process, but there is no time to waste. You need to leave ASAP. Take this before you go. Larlin hands you a teleport crystal. You can use that crystal back here to whenever you need to. Come speak to me again if you need anything for your journey. Streamer, at streamer, Andrew wants to know if you enjoyed watching the stream you were told not to watch. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. I'm going to watch it anyways. <laughs> it's a test stream. I don't care. Uh, let's go to the ice one first because, yes. Also, things have happened and we're doing good, all things considered. What things have happened? Also, my hat, Kate's that text scrolling sound. I'm so sorry. 
You'll never take our crystal. It's mine. Oh, no. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Oh, it's one of these. I feel like I'm playing Pokemon. Oh, my God. I'm going to die. What what things have happened? I need to I need to know things have happened. That's a very vague and misleading. I'm going to die. I don't have any mana. Ah. Uh, eat them up. That was not enough. I'm dead. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my god, that starts me all the way over. Oh, I hate my life. Oh. <laughs> Oh, no, dude. Don't do this to me. Well, at least we know directly where to go. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. Uh, the roof of our apartment building caught on fire like two weeks ago. Not our apartment, but the roof of the building. Oh, sorry, Dova King. Yeah, I'm glad I could at least see the world that you created. It is a very pretty world. Yeah, it's that's that's how it is. Sometimes you you just don't have enough time to see it all. But I am glad that I could see the little bit that I could. Sorry, broskies. Yeah, RPGs and game gem games for me. It's a it's kind of a weird spot. Dang it. Can I even kill this guy? Especially when, you know, like most RPGs, you think about you're going to have to grind. You're going to have to, you know, do like you said, you're going to have to level up and whatnot. None of our stuff burned and very little of it was damaged by the water they used to put out the fire. Dude, that's rough. You were definitely right. You, you had a rough time, didn't you? But we had 24 hours to move all of our stuff we wanted to keep out of our apartment into a storage unit. Oh, my gosh, dude. Cut you no slack, did they? Yeah, I'm gonna die. There's the crystal! There it is! Uh, okay. No, no, no! Oh, God! Oh, no! Oh. Can I run? Oh, okay. That. <laughs> well, we're, we're living in an extended stay hotel right now, but we're good. Well, I'm glad you guys are okay. You also bought your wedding dress. Ooh! Looks like a lot of things have been happening. Good for you. Oh, dude. So, I will say... You you have a start of a really good story here. And you've set up the, the game to have a really... Something, a good hook. I mean, I want to know... This is kind of like that... We're trying to, to sacrifice some for the greater good. But then we find out the people that we're sacrificing... You know, the, the lessers also end up being somebody who's just as important they have family they have friends they care about people at least that's what I'm, I'm i'm picking up right now that may not be the case after we get farther into the game but that's kind of what i'm feeling right now and that's kind of cool also your city is everything that you've got laid out that looks really good i think we could probably use maybe one or two more buildings to fill out like this section over here and then down on this bottom left hand corner here could be filled out otherwise have ruins or you know like a, a dilapidated building here that would be good or just close that off and restructure it so it looks like these walls are built around the city that exist your forest and everything looks good that all looks like it really belongs here um there were roads at one point you can kind of tell where they belonged previously and now they've kind of disappeared over time due to either not being traveled or whatnot but um, good job, and <laughs> this deer's seen some things. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry I'm not going to be able to play really much of your game, nor am I able to, you know, really spend the time to grind out to get high enough level to go through each of these two little mini planets, but um, the little bit that I've seen, I've enjoyed. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> We're mostly annoyed that the fire thing happened. The first week Overwatch League was back. Ugh. Yeah, that's rough. I know you and you and uh, my wife have been very excited about Overwatch League to have that cut right in the middle of all that. That sucks. Absolutely sucks. Um, 
Yeah, that's really all about I can say, Dova King. I, I would love to spend more time in this world, but unfortunately, I just, you know, I don't have don't have that plethora of time that I can for these type of RPG ma maker games. But good job, kudos to you, those. Try to get on either um, um, Joshua's stream or get on Tiger J stream if you haven't already and get them to see if they'll play an extended playthrough of your game. Uh, just to see if they can get a little bit more. Thanks. I appreciate the feedback anyways. Never expect you to take the time to complete the whole game. Well, that's good. Uh, some people have very high expectations for for things like that. I, I'm glad that you understand. Hey, that's me. Yeah, that's Josh. Maybe he'll play a, an extended playthrough or something a little bit longer. I'm not sure what his time constraints are per game. I just know what I typically do. But that was Lurth by Dovakin of Rivera. R Rivia. Speed run. Time constraints. That does not mean speed run. How long you are willing to spend on a game. Silly Josh. All right. Looks like we got about enough time for Uno Moss. One more game after this one that I'm capturing right now, and that will have it. That will be it for tonight. So we'll go ahead and pop both of those up there. So they are on the same list of where everything else is. Maybe. There we go. Let's say insert. Let delete. Okay. Whoop. Colonial Defender by Ignacio or Northern Hawk is what his name is on here. Our planet is getting attacked. Somebody should do something about it. All right. Here we go. Let's back up here. We're going to hit the play of the button again. Colony Defender by Northern Hawk. Okay. That looks like a something. What's this do? Do I punch it? Okay, nope. Do I attack? Do I plus one? No. In this game, you have to defend your planet and the minions that inhabit it. These minions will mine resources so you can build turrets and defend them. Do I drag? No. Do I plus? Space. Space is pause. Hmm. Let's read. Basic laser, quad laser, click to create more minions. These are defense spots. Are they, though? Basic laser, defense spot. I don't feel like I'm defending anything. Pause the game. Pause the spec that you buy right. Upgrade the explosives. Pro tip. Don't forget to create workers at the beginning of the game, but leave mine remainder 100 to build your first units. So maybe I don't have any workers? Click to create more minions, brother. Come on. Look, I've clicked. I, I have minions. They're doing stuff. That's great, but I can't I can't place anything on these outskirts here. I want to help them. Pause with the game when you're feeling overwhelmed. Oh, okay, okay, I'm feeling overwhelmed. I'm feeling overwhelmed. Okay, all right, I paused the game. Okay, right click to build defenses. Was I not right clicking? Knowing me, I probably wasn't. Probably, probably not. I was not. Okay, we're good now. We're we're gonna be all right. There we go. Good boys. 
Pew, 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 pew. Come on, punch him up. Punch him up. You mean I have to tell it which one I want to click on? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. I want these bullets to just start orbiting everywhere. Can I make that happen? Alright, so I got a bunch of monies here. I'm going to start sending out whatever these are now. Oh, we got dim lasers. All right, now we're talking. All right, so we need some more dim, dim, dear lasers. That seems to be doing some good stuff there. Right, can we get some more lasers in now? Laser, laser, maybe? Nope, not enough for another laser on that one. Oh, this is the weak side. Oh, I don't have any lasers over here. Ah, blah, 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 blah. Boom, boom. Get basic cannon on this side. Oh god. oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. We're fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh, oh crap. They're actually knocking them out. I died. What? A left clicker? Use the ammo upgrade. Don't tell me how to live my life. One. Two. There we go. I'm assuming the first one cost a hundred. No! Ah, oh, dang it. D ah. Dang it. Like, I, I can't defend against that. It's over there. Got him, got him. Doing good, doing good. No. It's very simple. It's very complex. <laughs> I have to have a hundred, I guess, for that one. No, 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 no. Let's put some of these suckers out. Oh, subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing to the YouTube channel. Much appreciated. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today. And fond remembrance. Oh, God, of all the pixel minions that our dear brother forgot to create at the beginning of the game. <laughs> you shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, oh, friend. Oh, oh, friend. I can hear the coppers outside. Must be a fire. Somebody in chat might have started. God knows who. Boop. Wonder how much. Wonder what this one does. Well, obviously I don't have enough. Ouchies. No, no, no! Don't do it, this. Okay, more than I can afford. Got it. You would think with this large of a freaking planet and we have some sort of thing that exists outside of our solar system that's just kind of floating around, you would think that there's some automation on here. But, oh, no, no, no. That's above our level of thinking here. Nope. Stop it. Stop it. Can I put this down now? Yes, I can. Hello. 
Hello, death and destruction. That looks fun. Probably don't do anything. Oh, 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 okay. They'll, all right. Well, that's a, that's a thing that's happening. That is, that is really happening right now. Okay. Look, I'm clicking create more minions. We're almost there. Calm down. Calm your pants down. Eh. Aw, uh, can I not place what's already been there? Seriously? Good night. But yet, there's still some places that just don't seem to understand that you need to be shooting. Well, fellas, we've lasted this long. I think it's reckon it's almost time to be dead. It's almost time to say good night. Yes, there's been lots of pew, 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 pew. The mood for March. If we get attacked by space, we are screwed. Especially with me at the helm. And we died. So we didn't really get any type of like, hey, you've done it or you lasted this long or anything like that. Those would be really nice things to have towards the end of that game. So then we can go back and try to redefine our solution. Um, for the next round, those, those are just core types of things to have in games like this where you want them to go back and replay again because you want to know how far you last or how long it took you to die or things like that. That's, that's really nice. Yes, also, I'm implying that you set that place on fire. We know. We know who you are. Um, but the idea was cool. The idea was clever. We're trying to protect Earth by placing this giant defense grid around it, and then we are using different types of uh, ammunition or um, weapons to to stop them. You broke down a lot of this outside of the game on how much it cost and how to play. I'm a very big fan of having all of that within the game itself. That way, it's 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 one cohesive thing that's going on here. It's, it's all within one package. It's easy to find. It's easy to understand. And at any time, we can take that refresher um, and just by clicking a single button in the game and it pops up and lets us know. Just like if you have a real game that you buy for your PlayStation or your Xbox, you hit start and then you go to help and then you get some directions on how to play that game right then and there. You don't go find the manual for the game. Oh, no, you know too much. You're going to shoot me. Ha blep. Um... Yeah, that that was fun. I think having the cost value on each of the items too would be another thing that would help us with this to understand exactly what it is that we need to be saving up for for this type of uh, gun or, or laser, if you will. Also, plus one doesn't really convey that that's going to give me anything. Just it says plus one. You know, make, make it say something that's going to make sense. You know, show different am ammo like it's a single bolt or now it's two bolts, now it's three bolts, so on and so forth. And, you know, put more ammo on top of that or ammo or rate of fire or something like that. So it's it's a little little easier to understand kind of what's happening here. Um, but just a plus one isn't really a good indicator of what that means. Yeah, health indicator looked fine. That felt good. The sound effects that we used felt really good. Um, I think we could have used some sound effects for when the sweeping lasers go past. I think that would have been cool. Right now, we just have it for the pew pew and when our planet gets hit. So a little bit more um, sound effects on those types of things. I love the cute little world. I think that's cool seeing them walk around doing their own thing, going and mining. I think that's that was really cool. I enjoyed that. 
good job there. Just just keep up the good work. Refine this game. Give it a little bit more polish. Some of the nice things like the instructions, putting better labels on some of your buttons and stuff, I think will help this game go a lot, a lot farther. All right, so that is Colony Defender by Northern Hawk. Thank you for making this game, my friend. And then we got one more game for this evening, and then we will be calling it quits. That is it for the 12-hour stream. That's awesome. We have made it to the last game. Hopefully, I don't just blep out and did written you. That would be not nice. So let's see. Let me just download these these pieces here. It looks like this game is in was not zipped together. So there's just four different downloads. Let's see if we can get it to run. Sometimes we can. Other times, not so much. Yep, 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 yep. We're still missing the folder. They didn't upload the rest of the folder. So that is an unplayable game. So we're just uh, going to skip at that one. And we're going to grab... Oh, Delthor. Okay, cool. Game from Delthor. How about that? Delta, you changed your name. So you're Daniel. Maybe some of the bullets play Johnny Cash when they explode. No. No, 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 no. Listen, sister. No, 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 no. Root. You are root. Starting a stream and not inviting anybody. In fact, telling them not even to come. You tell your man. How dare he? How dare he? Doesn't he know to make a private channel for stream testing? Huh. All right. Our last game for this evening is called Nexum Project by Delthor. Let me just make sure the full screen is as should. Bruh, we've scuffed. You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? You want to go? I, I ain't a skirt of you. I ain't a skirt. There might have been a time where it was a skirt. But now it's got beard. Beard make brave. Nexium Project by Deathor. I said we, not you. Come on, bruv. Bruh, bruh, bruh. You want to go? Let's go. Press any key to start and skip. The Nexium Project was created for the humans to take control of the galaxy. Your beard is unconsequential. You should be a skirt. It is not inconsequential. Where's everything? You could be the one and final victor. You are one of the Nexum soldiers on your journey. You will have to fight and avoid many hazards. I can defeat you half asleep, little baby. Be careful because you only have one life. Different planets have different environments and creatures. Move with arrows and shoot by holding a Z. Good luck. Ooh, all right. Ooh, jumpy, jumpy. I like it, like it. Oh, okay. Pew. All right, so we got some speckers on the ground. Oh, oh. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, is it? Okay. So you've got creatures that aren't at that normal height. So we do have to do a little trickery to actually hit them. Got it. Do we have a ducking or anything? No, no simple, no simple duck. Get, 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 tag, damn it, creature, oh, don't kill me. Whee oh no. All right. The fact that they're different heights, oh, that just irks me. It's not a bad thing. It's just, just like, oh, I want it to be the same height. But it not. What? That? What? What? Random, random block? I got the thing. Oh. Yeesh. All right. So is this just reskin mode? Uh, hmm. Is, is gravity the same? Did that change a little bit there?
Crouch should be good. Oh, absolutely. No. Oh, I knew that was coming. Did it say gravity normal? I missed it. Come on, bruv. Look, I'm tired. It's been a 12 hour stream. I ain't got time for your sass. Ain't nobody got time for that. Nobody. I ain't know how to read. I stopped learning how to read like 11 hours and 58 minutes ago. That's going to kill me, isn't it? Nope, I'm not alive. Whoosh. Oh, it's like a spiky. Spiky. Dang. Get up. Get, get. Die. 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 Huh. Ah. Mmm. Mmm. No. <laughs> oh. Ah. Kill it. Kill it real dead. The lack of energy damage feedback is a problem. Ah. I would agree. My lack of energy is a problem. <laughs> but yeah, I agree. It, 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 there's no kickback. There's no response from the enemy. It just kind of happens. The enemy is just kind of like, meh, all right. I mean, I think you could, you could get by with that if maybe these were like, like legit mushroom fungus creatures where they're not really aware of their surroundings. They're just kind of going through the motions. But we would still want at least a kickback from our weapon hitting them Dang, nab it. Um, at, at a minimum. I, I would agree with that. It makes a noise. I'll bring that up all the time. Gotta love my kickback. Kickback jacks. Yeah, I mean, there's a thud, but we're looking for like, you know, if if somebody punches you in the arm, you're going to you're going to flinch. You're going to draw back. You're going to do something other than continue down the path that you're walking. You know, there's going to be some sort of reaction in addition to the sound of the the hit. And there's no flash or knockback, which is game code for your weapon didn't do anything. Exactly. Mr. Josh McLean, I defer to your experts on this area. Yeah, yeah, he, he's got some some experience. Wise decision, young Patawan. All right. Can I hit him? Oh, dang. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, okay. Whoo! I really don't want to know what's below there, but I have a feeling that would just kill me. Okay, got lucky there. And I can't jump up there, so we have to jump down. Oh! <laughs> Why? Why? Listen, I'm just here to roast streamers for being illiterate. Well, you, you came way too late then. You came way too late. Josh has been doing that all day. All career, maybe I should say. All of my career. What? Hey, I'm glad to get a break. <laughs> Listen, I love you very much, bro. But Al was on. Overwatch League. I get it. I get it. I know. I, I totes get it. It's fine. Alright, so I gotta go straight up against the wall if I'm gonna try to survive here. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Against the wall. Against the wall. Against the wall. Against the wall. Oh, oh. that's so evil that they put it right there in front of you and just like, oh, there it is. Nope. You're gonna hit the spike. Alright, so now we got, uh, what are these? Tortoises? Cactuses? Nope. 
Yeah, hey, about that life. Ooh, ooh. Of course. Got that one super quick. High gravity. Ugh. Ugh. Are you are you are you for cereal right now? What you want me to do with that? This guy's had a bad day. He's uh, stuck on a ledge there. All right, so there is a ball of fire going up and down, and then immediately to the right of that, there is a ball of death. Or a fire patch or something. And a turtle. <laughs> Dang it! Ah! Dang it. Which means I have to go the other way. I have no choice. I have to go up and around. There's no way I can make that because the gravity's so dang high. Hey, low gravity. This guy is on the ledge. Is my favorite. I identify with him. I don't know what to do with my life. That's why he's saying, no. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Does this hurt me? Yes, it does. Okay. Because that's what that other little area was. You killed me. All right, I'd do it again, too. Sometimes you have to kill the ones you love to make progressions in your life. I also find this relatable. Bully. <laughs> There's an emote <laughs> for bully. That's amazing. Oh, no. Dang it. It's all right. Now all of your friends and family are going to kind of come and haunt me here. <clears throat> Can't make that jump, right? Nope. I like the different gravity thing. I think that's cool and where we're going through these different little areas. The sound effects and stuff that we've got going throughout here are pretty nice. They feel like a jetpack boost. I, that's believable. <clears throat> mm. Now, the coins and stuff that we're collecting, other than just a person who just has to collect everything, I've not seen them to have any purpose or value. Like where we could buy upgrades or buy like hit points or better weapon or anything like that. It would be nice to have something like that within the game if you're going to have so many of these coins. Or an, an unlockable suit or something. You know, that, that would be something that you could easily throw in front of people saying, Hey, there's, this is the reason why you want to buy or try to get all of these coins. Because right now there's not really a purpose for us. And I know a lot of people would want that. Would, they would want something like that. With this many coins. I mean, there's a, sh a crap load of coins here. Wow! Look, buddy. You're dead. There it is. There it is. Boom. Finish. Game finish. Yeah. You collected 355 coins and respawned 16 times. <laughs> I died 60 times. Thanks for playing. This game was made for Blackthorn Prize Game Jam. Press any key to go back to the menu. Cool. Both of you to assume I'm not going to personally haunt you. Oh, no. <clears throat> well, guys, we have done it. That puts us at the end of our 12-hour stream. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming out and supporting the channel and staying as long as you have. It has been a blessing to meet so many people today from Blackthorn Prod. I thank every each and one of you for coming here and hanging out. Hopefully, you made some new friends while you were here. Hopefully, you got some good feedback on not only your game, but you got some feedback uh, or you learn something from the feedback on other people's games and watching somebody play through those games and you've learned how to make better instructions, how to know where sound effects are important to be, how to craft, craft a better menu, how to make a good story, how to teach somebody how to do something. We, we had some educational games on this stream too, which is kind of cool. Um, uh, I want to thank Noah for letting me cover his game jam for a second time and letting me post under his announcement page that brought in so many people to this channel and added to this wonderful community that we are trying to cultivate here. Uh, it's been a blessing to have so many people come and hang out with us for such a long time. I want to thank everyone who donated to the channel, subscribed to the channel, followed the channel, donated bits, everything under the sun. It's a blessing to me and it does help fund this channel. So thank you from the bottom of my heart and my wife's heart. Uh, it's because of people like you that I can continue to do this. I take this money. It doesn't go into my pocket. It turns around and is poured right back into the stream to help 
uh, paint the walls, these pixeled walls. It helps me create better media badges, um, introduce more giveaways and other things that I can do, um, like the best clipper or the top clipper of each month. If you find me doing something funny or whatnot, just clip it, give it a good title, and then you have a chance of winning five dollars every single month of steam cash it's it's an easy way if you know you don't have any type of income coming in and you're younger on the younger side 13 or younger um that's a great way so you can get you some games and kind of hang out and play those games with other people and i've had several people win five dollars a couple times in a row and they've been able to buy stuff with that money which is cool but thank you all for coming out. I will be having another stream tomorrow evening at 7 p.m. EST where we're going to be playing games from the Weekly Game Jam. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's just like what we were doing today. That stream should be a little shorter because there's only eight games that I'll be playing tomorrow because it was a short stream or a short week. Everybody's focused on doing other things like Blackthorn Prods, Game Jam. And then next Saturday, p.m., 7 p.m. EST, same time, we're going to be playing a game called Gris by Nomada Studio. It's this beautiful watercolor, watercolor platformer with music. There has been zero talking through this entire game itself, but it is beautiful. Oh, my gosh, it's so beautiful. We'll probably finish it up tomorrow, so make sure you come check that out on Saturday. And then we start our cycle over again. We will be playing uh, Indie Sunday Games Weekly Game Jam on next Sunday as well. And then there is also going to be a special stream on the 13th, which is a Wednesday night, where we are going to be playing games from Josh's Jam 8 Bits to Infinity Platformer Week. At 7 p.m., we'll play two to four hours, just as many games as we can get in and on that list um, so there's lots of good events coming up. This was the big stream for March. And then we're going to have some different little ones staggered throughout the month of March. And hopefully I'm going to be able to ramp up some of the other stuff that I've been doing um, in the previous months once I get everything solidified at work. Because we're still doing some stuff with construction and moving people around. And I have to devote more time to that because that is my day job. But thank you all for coming out. That is all for me. Hope you guys have a wonderful morning because it's now morning for me. It is now Sunday morning at 12, 11 a.m. Thank you guys. Have a great night. We'll see you next time.